Hello and welcome back to Dial H for Hero Clicks. This is episode 404. I'm your sexy ranch man, Calder Ness. Let's ponder the question, what if? So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional hero clicks. No. Are you serious? Again? How many people even play this game? Like the hundred? Instant dead pan humor. Oh, how they six how people work? think I am funny. It's a hard day's work. Not that you know anything about that. Which Absolute fools, it's not richer nonsense. I'm gonna make your quits like that forever. Are you <laughs> kidding me? Okay, Google, the back some more. Let's attack him here because he's a jerk. Wow, wow, wow. Dial H for Hero Clicks is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock every day, including all the latest Hero Click singles and sealed products. Make sure you check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Joining me, like always, in the studio is. Your dial is for Hero Clicks champion, the Billion Clicks Bruce. What's going on, Simeon? The scary door. What? I'm sorry? Uh, excuse me? <laughs> the scary door. If you've never what, seen... What about... Uh... You're entering the vicinity of an area adjacent to a location. The kind of place where there might be a monster or some kind of weird mirror. These are just examples. It could also be something much better. Prepare to enter the scary door. Futurama does this bit every so often where it's like the Twilight Zone, like the old black and white Twilight Zone intro, but it's just okay. like some dude going like, the scary door. There could be anything on the other side of it, even another door. No one knows. It's time to enter the scary door instead of like the Twilight Zone. It, Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Terrifying. For some reason, when you said, what if it, it uh, made me ponder the scary door. <laughs> the scary door. <laughs> Okay. Um, besides binge watching Futurama, what made you happy this week, my man? Uh, what made me happy this week is I have two pets. I have uh, Milo the dog and uh, Ilaria the cat. Um, oh, yes. Yes. And uh, they finally, after a couple weeks, uh, slowly introducing and getting Milo's like a very... I call him aggressively friendly. He really wants to get up in people's business. Like Calder knows that, but uh, yeah, yeah, he's a real, real uh, close proximity kind of guy. Wanted to get them to kind of used to each other, but after after a couple of weeks, uh, they're finally copacetic. Like uh, the cat Milo was uh, sleeping on the couch, and the cat like curled up next to him. So got that that nice picturesque image of uh, dogs and cats living together. I don't remember the rest Aww. of the quote, but... Uh, yeah, yeah you, gotta, you gotta post that on your Instagram page. E- no. No, I will not. Okay. <laughs> my Fair Instagram enough. is literally, like, three pictures of my dog. Uh, I think one picture of the cat. And two of the pictures, I have headphones on because I'm, like, editing or recording or something. Oh, man. Yeah. Whoa. This guy's so filling out the Instagram. Four whole pictures Whoa. over the last, like, two years. Yeah. Dang, man, look at this guy. Yeah, Freaking, yeah. Uh, <laughs> influencer, this guy. I know. All 12 followers I have that are mostly Yo, my family. double digits, let's go. It's not easy, uh, it's not easy being yeah. a, an Instagram influencer, but, you know, no, I've got to get that hard. grind. Right, of course. <laughs> of course. Uh, well, awesome, man. That is really cool. Uh, what made me... Happy this week. I got to practice some Hero Clicks games uh, against Patreon supporter. Listen to the podcast, Matt Reed. Uh, first one was a, uh, I tried out that Wrecking Cray Crew uh, Mission Point team that I posted on the podcast or said on the podcast this last week. And uh, first game I played with that, I did pull off a Mission Point victory. Was pretty was pretty stoked about that. It was pretty awesome. Um, Second two games didn't go so well. Uh, that's all right. I think... Knowing uh knowing how to barrier and everything is gonna be huge on that team to like stay yeah. protected. Positioning's um enormous. Like I that's will one say, of the harder like, that's like one of the harder things to master in Hero Glicks already. Yeah, but oh for sure. Yeah. Um honestly, uh I the first time I played it I dropped Humanite and then I added Lex Luthor, the ten point Keck Lex, and then what's her face? Mary Jane. Paparazzi Mary Jane. Um yeah, yeah. and I think that's good just to get me another plus two on theme because you're a plus ten like theme team, which is good for nowadays, like solid for nowadays. And then uh 
Cacalax just sort of exists. He's just sort of there. Not a not a huge thing. Like, sure, if people roll tens and stuff, then that's all right. But uh, I think Mary Jane with Paparazzi is nice to uh, help body block. Not inside the barrier, but like outside the barrier, they can like be in the way and stopping movement and stuff. So Mary oh, Jane sure. with Paparazzi plus. Um, easier to equip the zero ring with autonomous actions and stuff. Pretty big, pretty huge. And then, you know, might as well, because if they do happen to be within four of or five of Aaliyah Gregor, you know, they do have then, you know, an 11 attack with their uh, their in cap, which is a yeah. lot better, and then plus one range, which is nice. As long as you're so, not playing against, yeah. uh, like, what, six-arm doom, you should be good. <laughs> yeah, true. Because, that is true. Yeah, then, then they're pretty much worthless. Like, you can sidestep them. That That's is, about that it. is correct, yeah. Um, but still, you know, some body blocking there. That's kind of cool. Um, and yeah, once again, it was hundred percent the right call to main force Claire Finn. That sidestep is huge with just needing your actions to barrier. That is really, really big. And then, um, yeah, I just, I, I, I really do. I do enjoy this version of the wrecking crew team. Uh, I'll see if there can be any more tweaks made. Uh, both times I did win map, which was huge. Cause you know, going to ancient hold, uh, obviously makes it way, way easier. Um, you can get two mission points pretty easy right away on that map and sit in one of the little little rooms to either the top yeah. side or the left side of the map in the middle. And you can barrier up pretty easily in there. But yeah, no, I just had great fun playing some games, practicing up. It's good stuff. Have you played with the, uh, I think it's the Fantastic Four organized play kit with like all the LEs and legacy card prizing and stuff. Have you played okay. with the two maps that came with that? One's so... Like nightmare I do, elevation right i do own one of those maps and that's exactly what um matt actually told me like after one game he was like ah oh, you should check out this map and i saw it and i'm like wow that does look like a bit of a headache to try to get into like that map yeah just a so, ton of walls and stuff a ton of walls the the problem with me for that map as i was looking at it i was like how easy is it going to be for teen lantern to carry us get oh, to that's a right, halfway if they, point yeah if they put you on the one side yeah, it's there's way one side harder. where you have to like, de like without phasing, you have to go real really out of your far way. up yeah. and around. And I guess you do start two squares closer to the center, which is nice. I will say that is cool about that map. Um, the two squares closer, and then it's also easier with a starting area like that to make everybody be carried by Teen Lantern, which is also pretty huge. Um, than a starting area like. Uh, whatever it's called, Ancient Hold, because there's that wall, which makes it just difficult to try to get the whole team carried by her. Um, but, yeah, I, I need to play with that map a little bit. Uh, maybe play some of that tonight. We'll see. Um, but, yeah, that's what I want to try to figure out for sure about, like, maps and, like, count out movement. Uh, I just yeah. want to say both sides of those maps are awful for, like, sealed or oh. just... <sighs> Just play yeah. in general. Uh, like it, sealed was especially um, on the elevated one. If you didn't have a yeah. bunch of people that ignore it, elevated it was awful. And then on the indoor one, it's just awful. Like it's just in a that sealed environment. One, it's I, so hard. I love that indoor one for like if you're going against the sky tyrant or any like oh, cross yeah. the map quickly teams. That's awesome. I do actually. I do think this map is really good for the game. Oh, it's, it's like bad constructed. Like, painful, it's like, yeah, great, great, great map. Yeah, sealed. That would be like we've you've slowed us down tremendously, good sir. Yeah, <laughs> this is gonna take forever. And sealed it took, uh, unless I was like spending one action just to like punch or blow out a wall or whatever, it would take me two turns at least just to get close enough where I would be able to reach my opponent. Oh jeez! Um, but yeah, like hindering no longer stopping um, you for movement means like busting a wall and walking through it's way easier. So. At least there's that. that true. Um, but all right, there's a lot to talk about in news, and that is why we are recording today because it's awesome. So let's just jump right into it. Simeon, today the the fine folks at WizKids decided to grace us with the entire set list and sculpts for the Disney Plus. Marvel set. We also got to see uh, the Ellie Spider-Man front and back of the card. We got to see some maps. We got to see all sorts of stuff. So uh, I want to talk about all the sculpts first. Like that's going to be the bulk of it. But let's just run through some of the smaller things really quickly. So the miniatures game here. It's all the what if characters. Um, 
we get to see some map tiles that don't look like they totally fit together. So we have like a yeah. street, and then on the reverse end, we have a street that's like wrecked. And then we see a bar, <laughs> and then a little stock room, and then we see a bar that has the tentacle monster and stuff coming through it, and the stock room is wrecked. And then we see like a park, and then we see the park is all wrecked. So it's these two tile each little mini sections of map that just have like a, um, it's a very no man's land Batman. Do you remember those maps where they had like the post cataclysm and the cataclysm? Yeah. Like styles yeah, yeah. where it's just like, oh, the reverse side is, and they were slightly different, but it was just like, oh, it's just like a wrecked up, messed up version of the other map. Uh, it's very much what it is, but it's they're very small, small map sections. Um, and then the tokens for this are really cool. We get uh, all the um, infinity stones as like tokens, like little cardboard cutout tokens. And then on the back, you can uh, you see that they all have their own powers and abilities, like if they are equipping or maybe in that square or something, who knows? I don't know how they're going to work. They don't have a point value, um, so I don't think you can pay for them. We also get they do have unequipped drops. Tokens. So yeah, they do have unequipped drops. So they are equipment. Yeah. I guess they are at least equipment that are probably just used in these scenarios. Uh, we get these awesome obelisk tokens, uh, which on the back say no or yes. No. Uh, love, no. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Um, but yeah, like I assume it's like if you flip one over and it says yes, you're good to go. But if it says no, it's you fail or something like on a scenario. But I like the idea of having a no and a yes token. I just can't wait till we Wiz Kids gets the Uno set and we can Uno reverse our opponent's attacks and yes, stuff. Exactly. This is attack hit. Uh, no. <laughs> nope. Actually, hits you. Uh, which is just hilarious. Do um, I break probably... away and then you flip it? Yeah, you, like, yes have or to no. Flick it like a coin. And it's like yes. <laughs> uh, it's like in Pokemon when you just you have to flip like oh. the heads or tails coin or whatever. That'd yeah. be a great scenario oh, if every I mean... decision in Hero Clicks came down to like a tail, like a heads oh, tails. Fifty uh, fifty heads tails. Yeah. Does this we attack hit? A... Yes. That's what we should do. We should uh, for the next Mythbusters, Clicksbusters, or like something. We should just. Play a game of hero clicks, but every attack and like breakaway is just you flip a coin. It's just all 50 <laughs> 50. Like that's it. Nah, that's a good idea. We got to play a game like that. No or yes. Um, so yeah, that's basically everything. The rest of this stuff that we saw for the starter is all the same. It's all the same figures we saw, all that jazz. We know it. The Dyson token pack, pretty cool. Uh, I believe we already saw them, but we get pretty cool Dyson tokens. Um, so there's only one pog it looks like so on one side it's what if characters it's zombie cap apocalyptic black widow superior doctor strange party thor hydra stomper and then peggy carter and then on the other side it is loki mobius t'challa the watcher and then um killmonger with one bystander the red wing bystander so this might be a a light bystander set if both sides of these tokens are like characters and only one is a pog so we may have just seen all of the bystanders in this entire yeah. set with this and then Spider Man's Spider-Man, bystanders. Yeah. So it's, it's uh, pretty crazy. Yeah. I will say the only physical clicks, like not digital renderings that we get to see, is the with close up of the miniatures game box. And from the look of it, it's pretty well done. Like the yeah. sculpts. I, I am a little worried that the terrain is just becoming like this bland, like colored base. But the sculpts themselves and the paint jobs on said sculpts looks really well done for, and really I mean it pop. should be for seventy bucks. But yes. um, yeah, like the colors, the the little details, you can make out a lot of stuff, and it's not even like a high res close up image. It's you know, it's just what it is. But like from that image alone, you can see like I can see the wrinkles in Killmonger's pants. I can see all the like little lines and details in Thor's like suit. It's pretty well done. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely, dude. I really, I really, really like it. I will say one thing that I'm a little weird about on the starter set um, are the keywords. We see the cards, and um, there is no, like, Guardians of the Multiverse keyword. Um, I uh, think... Yeah. Actually, I don't think any of them have any type of team keyword here. So this is all... Maybe their main set versions are all going to be them, where they're, like, Guardian of the Multiverse or something. Because, uh, like, right now, um, Party Thor has, like, as Guardian Avengers celebrity uh, deity and what looks like Soldier, which is really weird for Party Thor, I find. I don't think we've ever had a Thor with, like, a Soldier keyword. Um, 
But then, yeah, we see like Hydra Stomper, and he's got like, uh, I love this Howling Commandos, Invaders, Armor Soldier Spy. Uh, we like the Invaders aren't something that's in the MCU, so it's cool to to I guess fill out the Invaders keyword, even if it doesn't seem very like accurate, you know. But I'm cool with that. Looks good to me. Yeah. Yeah. So like that's just uh, those ones that we can see. Is what there else? any any powers or anything? Because we don't see the backs of the dials, right? Um, no. Um, are there any powers or anything powers, that we see that are? Yeah, we see perplex. Uh, so we see Watcher has perplex. It's really hard. The text is super small. It's really, really difficult to like make out. That's what like Doctor Strange Supreme um, has a special attack. Uh, yeah, we we'll see Watcher has like a trait. Captain Carter's got like a special speed. Yeah, it's really it's really tough to like try to see what it's all supposed to be. Um, when Strange Supreme makes an attack, you may. Thank a heavy character who map of the fun. Nope, can't read it. That sounds about right. No, it's, that's pretty good. I can't that's wait to make a heavy character the power. map of fun. Yeah, um, uh, it's a really long yeah. special power though. Like, yeah, he's got to be one of like the more interesting ones because his one his one uh, special power is pretty long. The, there's a watcher with. Well, both of them have defend, but there's one that's got a right. trait. Then he is, I think, the only starter character with a trait. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Captain Carter has charge flurry, which is cool. Uh, close combat expert. Uh, so it'll probably be top dial um, leadership. Honestly, if, flurry. You, uh, if you've seen the episode Captain Carter is in, she does just kind of wreck people. So charge flurry, close combat expert is pretty accurate. Actually, like it's it's honestly it's kind of painful watching the animation of that episode because it, it looks like even though they're like they're animated people and they're obviously like Nazis, you're still like, oh, ooh, she hit <laughs> like, these people like, hard like it hurts. Yeah, yeah, it hurts to watch. You're like, man, you're like more brutal than Captain America. It's like when you somehow. <laughs> when you start a new anime and you don't expect them to go like, oh, yeah, super crazy. And then you're just like, yikes, this is oh, OK, yeah. R rated. I get it now. Right. Um, next up, we have some maps that are going to be in the um, play at home kit, which is really, really cool. So on the first side, we have West View. It is a not quite half. It's like two thirds West. View. Yeah, not, not totally, uh, but it's, it's yeah. kind of tough. So it's like it's West View and then slash the barrier, the big old Wanda right. hexagonal magic barrier. And then it's the military sword compound set up. We see some these and some boxes and crates and stuff and then yeah we get a really nice welcome to Westview sign and like a little house and everything so, which is really cool cool starting area the one starting area like starts on elevated like on top hey, of the house that's like on the building yeah and then the I other like so <laughs> it's interesting uh, I do wish they had done some sort of like flavor because in the show it oh, wasn't like, like as simple as just walking through yeah <laughs> right yeah so. no definitely i i do wish yeah it's sort of mm, yeah no i wish they would have done something then the other map and i'm i'm pretty stoked for this map it is the um like the brooklyn uh whatever like the the strategic new york testing scientific chamber strategic research. scientific research center this is where they give captain america the super soldier serum which is really really cool uh, and it looks, you know, it looks kind of, you know, how I assume that a top down perspective of it would look like from the first Avenger movie. So it looks really cool. It has that like iconic, like how his like super soldier serum, like big, like casket, like pod thing he gets yeah. into looks cool, man. So I'm pumped for that. It's a good looking set. Another one where it's like you start on elevated and then the other person can start here. So like, I love these, like number one, these are great maps, not identical and clearly second player can have a you know, a good slight advantage on first player in choosing the right. uh, higher elevated side of the map, which I really, really like. So yeah. And I like how the really other sweet. side is bordered by like blocking it. Like it feels yes. like it funnels you, but at the same time, it like, it does give you like some options as far as not as much as like, you know, some maps are like the Orville is like a real funnel where like the blocking on the one side takes. Up, yes. Yeah. Like, half of it. Yeah. That's a, it's a cool map because we have not gotten a lot of MCU stuff. So this is like a direct, you know, a scene from the movies. Right. Yeah, exactly. 
So next up, we're going to skip Spider-Man. We'll talk about him maybe after it's all said and done, but we got to talk about this set list. We have a big set poster, kind of like what they released for the Wonder Woman set and everything. Uh, and we get to see every single digital render and every character in this sculpt. Uh, I went through, I did the uh, did the double checks on for how many commons, uncommons, rares, all that stuff are. So we know exactly what's the start of the rarity. So I will, uh, I'll run through the commons. You can run through the uncommons. I'll go through the super rares. You go through the chases. Sound good, Simeon? Yeah. So starting off commons, we have Captain Carter. Skinny Steve, which I can only assume <laughs> is going to be his printed name on his tile. Uh, we have <laughs> a skinny and, Steve. I know, poor skinny Steve, dude. And I, it's kind of weird we're getting this and the Hydra Stomper, but like, okay, sure, fine. We don't, we don't have a non Super Soldier Serum version of Steve Rogers, so like, I'll, I'll take it, I'll allow it. Uh, we get a end version of Scarlet Witch in her final costume. We get a Vision doing a little, little wacky Vision dance. In his normal vision look. We have a Falcon as Captain America. We have the Winter Soldier. We have TVA variant Loki. We have Darcy Lewis. Uh, what if Killmonger? Gamora, daughter of Thanos in her normal Gamora outfit. Hunter B-15. Batrock. Like sweeping low kick from oh, the ground. Breakdancing. Yeah, breakdancing Batrock here. Uh, I love it. We're, as many Batrocks as we can get, I'm good with it. I just really uh, hope get... he's as good as the ADW one or like something similar. Ooh, I hope. I hope, yeah, something similar. Just as good or better. Because, I mean, Batrock, he was throwing on some moves. Like, he he was doing some... We also have like an end dial where he just picks up a grenade launcher. Like, in the <laughs> yeah. last episode. That'd be great. Um, we get T'Challa Star-Lord with the mask on. We get Monica Rambeau T-posing. Uh, we get Jimmy Woo. Hopefully we get some close-up magic with this Jimmy Woo. And then to end the commons, we get Baron Zemo with the mask off. Mask off. Mask off. Mask off. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> all right. Then the uncommons are going to end at mask on Baron Zemo. So nice. take it away. Sigmund. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yeah, they, next is post-apocalyptic Black Widow. And that's not me adding text. That's what the name is called. That's her whole name. That'll, like that name will crawl all the way across the dial. Uh, yeah. Holding some some tase sticks. Uh, we got Doctor Strange Supreme. A little weird that he is just an uncommon, but... Uncommon. Hmm. Cool. I mean, it's a very cool looking uh, rendering. Uh, we get Mobius M. Mobius, which I did not Ooh. realize. Like in the show, I think they just refer to him as Mobius. And so I did not realize that his name was like Mobius, 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 or something like that. Oh, whoa, whoa. We don't know what that M could be. It's yeah. probably Mobius, but it could be but yeah. Mr. Mobius, Mr. Mobius. Uh, please, please, Mr. Mobius was my father's name. Call me Mobius M. Mobius. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's cool. We get Owen Wilson. Uh, we get yeah. Ravona Renslayer holding uh, one of the TVA sticks. Uh, I don't know. Pretty cool. I like both of these so far. Uh, we get the Vision in the Halloween costume. We already saw this one with like the gym shorts and the the front tied cape. We get mm. Wanda Maximoff in her Halloween costume. Uh, we get Tommy Maximoff. I also assume in the Halloween costume because they never do like the superhero outfits, uh, but they do oh. get powers in the show. Should have uh, started this whole thing off with like massive spoilers if you haven't watched any of right. the Disney Plus stuff. Because, obviously, uh, this is going to be quite a bit spoiler-filled. Uh, we get right. Kid Loki just hanging out. We get T'Challa Star-Lord again with uh, the handsome face instead of the mask. Yeah. Uh, we get mask Monica off. Rambeau also T-posing, but this is like the Photon version. Uh, hmm. They don't call her Photon, but obviously she's glowy, glowy in this pose. Uh, we right. get Tyler Hayward, which I think is... I... That's the guy in charge of sword. Yeah. I had to it's double like check it. One bad like, guy in the. I, well, I don't think I ever unquote, realized his name was like Tyler. <laughs> like now I, I'm so like unthreatened by him now. Like, that his yeah. name is just like Tyler. <laughs> like, what are you they... gonna do? Smash a monster in front of me, <laughs> Tyler? I don't know. It'd be All cool right. if he Keep... does something with uh, like vision or something, but we'll see. And then uh, yeah, we get. Uh... <laughs> Papa gave me a sock for my birthday, Baron Zemo, with his, his mask on. Mask on, yeah. 
Uh, all right, moving into the rares. We have waste of a rare slot, Miss Minutes, uh, Party Thor. We get Sharon Carter. Uh, then we get the worst prime I've seen in a long time, uh, Sharon Carter as the power broker. Already, I already hated that twist a lot. Yeah. This, and I, I, still, I still hope that that's actually not the case, and she is still working for someone who's the real power broker. Because Sharon Carter's like character in Falcon and her soldier just took a complete nosedive from like and I think they wanted her to in. be interesting, but it wasn't I'm gonna say it wasn't enough build up for the, no, the reveal to be wasn't. like what? Because like we up until that point we had only like heard of the power broker. We hadn't seen them actually do anything or really be right. like, any kind of like imposing threat. Um yeah. so when it was revealed, it was like, all right, like um, did you just not have enough money to cast another actor or right? Uh, worth mentioning, I'll actually maybe mention these all really quickly. Uh, but the objects are as follows, just because I, I think she's probably going to have one of them. But Super Soldier Serum, Captain Carter's shield, U.S. Agent's shield, Captain America's shield, the Cloak of Levitation, the Tesseract, Red Wing, and then the Darkhold. So I assume Power Broker Sharon is probably going to come with the Super Soldier Serum. We shall see. Uh, then we get Zombie Captain America as a rare, Billy Maximoff, Iced Nebula, so like Marilyn Monroe hair uh, Nebula, um, Old Man Loki, Sylvie, John Walker, Captain America, my boy, uh, and then probably the prime version of him is U.S. Agent, so solid prime normal version there. Very cool. Uh, we get Ralph Boner, Pietro Maximoff, which is cool. Uh, Halloween costume, so that's like jean shorts and whatever else Pietro. Uh, and then that'll end the rares. Yeah, that's the Pietro Maximoff would be like the first, um, Fox. what is it, like the Fox? Sure, yeah, first yeah. Fox property, quote unquote. I mean, obviously, if you've seen uh, WandaVision, then you know like what happens or whatever. But still, it's cool. We get a, a Quicksilver kind of thing. Um, all right, you said Hydra Stomper is the last of or is um, the first Spider-Man Spider Spider actually starts okay. the super rares, so weirdly enough. we get the Cloak of Levitation Spider-Man. Um, looks the same. It's the same sculpt as what's going to be part of the Play at Home kit. Uh, we've seen, we see what the Play at Home kit one does. It'll be interesting how this one differs, because that one's right. pretty specific. Uh, we get Hydra Stomper. Uh, judging from like the zoomed out base, this one's going to be probably like double the height of most of the characters in the set. Um, mm -hmm. We get Captain Carter and Captain Carter. Uh, so it's super rare prime number one. The only difference that we can see, and hopefully this is just because like they forgot to swap out like a digital rendering. The only difference is the color of the base. And so I don't know like which is supposed to be which for whatever. Uh, speaking of which we get Agnes we get Vision, and then we get the Vision. So we get the the colored one, and then the uh, blank slate one from like the the fight scene at the end of WandaVision. Uh, we get the Watcher, who obviously looks the same as like the one in the starter kit, and then we get Croaky, the alligator Loki, um, who is just called Loki, sadly. Uh, yeah. really weird choice for super rare, but yeah, I mean, yikes. I'm glad it's in the set. It's uh, just like, I hope it's I'm like not. the hell cow of the set where it nobody wants it. And I can get like 12. Like, <laughs> well, you know, people are going to want it because people like lost their minds. It's like, whoa, yeah. so it's a little, little alligator with a Loki hat, which is so stupid. And like, we need more. This thing should have been a bystander, but like <laughs> this thing so should have been a bystander and definitely not a super rare. Yikes. I don't know. He, he has more screen time than some of the characters that we've seen. <laughs> He's yeah, he really he has more does. Screen time than like the For next whatever. Loki we're going to see. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, then we get Winter Soldier. Uh, how do you think this one differs? This is like bright vibranium well, arm. Uh, as you can see, this Winter Soldier is going to punch you. Yeah, okay. He's about to punch <laughs> you real hard. So if I don't you combine know. the two sculpts, this one's like swinging, and then the other one's like after the swing. Right, yeah. Man, I, I really know. hope that I... one of them can equip U.S. Agent or John Walker. <laughs> like, Oh, gosh. Pull, pull them around. as like a heavy object yeah. and swing them at people. <laughs> uh, then we get Loki. This is the President Loki who... 
not only didn't have like a full episode or backstory or anything like added, he was in maybe ten minutes of the show. So, oh, being a no, super he rare. was in maybe two minutes of this show uh, there's like, like a there's like a brawl scene or whatever but like i guess no but I mean, the one thing much. he does he doesn't even correctly do because he's like like you know i'm the leader of these loki's and they all turn on him because that's like the whole thing so it's yeah. like what does this loki do it'll be so like this sad thing about this loki is i could see them giving him the, the mission points ability for the set like mm -hmm. as bad as that's gonna be, like, could you not like running for president Loki or whatever? Yeah, or like something where vote you can like Loki, mind control yeah. people. Vote um, Loki. Yeah, I yeah, he he definitely could be. I could see a couple. I mean, obviously, we can get into it uh, once we're done. Right, but we'll get into it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then the last super rare is gonna be the Falcon. This is a really sweet sculpt. He's got wings extended, uh, red wing flying over the shoulder. It's got a really cool effect. The wings are like black and red and gray. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Puts a lot of the like angel from the X-Men, like the dark angel, whatever oh, yeah. you want to call them. Puts a lot of those sculpts to shame. This one's just really neat. It looks really awesome. I, I love it. Like, this is like, my this might be my favorite sculpt in the entire set. It's awesome. It's really good looking. And I mean, obviously I have to see a lot of these in hand, but it looks dope. Yeah. Uh, okay. To begin the chases, we got eight chases all up in this. We get a uh, full Super Saiyan power, Agatha Harkness floating, <laughs> levitating, blowing hands, hair going crazy. Uh, we get a Scarlet Witch. Uh, this is like the very end end of the show where she has her like legs crossed and she's levitating and she's reading the Darkhold. So we have that Scarlet Witch who probably comes with the Darkhold. Maybe her and Agatha might be able to equip it probably, but I assume she would come with it. Right. Uh, we get Frost Giant Loki. Um, you want to talk about someone who got less screen time than Alligator Loki. It's probably Frost Giant Loki. He did not, did not do a whole lot or do much <laughs> that was interesting. Um, he could have some cool powers like slingshot around the world or something. They do something stupid like that in that episode. Um, we get uh, D Ball Collector, absolutely roided out Collector, um, which is actually kind of cool. He was a pretty big, he's obviously the big bad in the Tatala episode. Um, I'll be interested to see what he does, and that's cool. We get Gamora, daughter of Thanos, in his armor and with his big twin blade sword thing. That looks so, not to like sidetrack, Gamora, comma, daughter of Thanos looks like a title character name. I could see well the the first Gamora is also called Gamora, comma daughter of Thanos oh, in the like the commons or whatever section. True. So yeah, that's like the only one thing where it's like I'm not entirely sure. But I'd be okay. Uh, I don't think she should get title character. I think if anyone gets title character and what if, it should probably be a Captain Carter. Like that's just, true. I mean, she yeah. started it and then yeah, um, or you know maybe some of these other ones. Uh, then we get Sakar and Iron Man. So a lot of these set choices and we'll get into it later but like obviously there was no episode with gamora daughter of thanos when she's like normal and not in his like thanos armor and then there's not an episode with sakar and iron man except for like the two seconds he appears in the last episode but um there was also like a lego set made of iron man and this like hulk buster sakar armor so clearly and people have said this before there was supposed to be an episode where it's gamora and then this iron man in sakar but um, it just didn't get released for whatever reason in this thing of what if it will come out in season two. But that's sort of puts into scale what information WizKids was going off of when they designed this set. So they clearly didn't have the full information. I mean, we, we knew the set was going to happen in September and what if had just wrapped. So anyways, we'll get into that later. Uh, we get Ultron Infinity with his big old Lance and looking all cool. This is probably, if he has a good dial, he is probably going to be, I imagine, the most expensive chase figure. Yeah. Um, yeah. I would say, like, of, of the chases, probably the most iconic looking one. Definitely. Him and, him and like, Scarlet Witch and then uh, Falcon Cap. I right. can see them all being very expensive chases. Uh, and then, yeah, like I said, last chase is going to be Sam Wilson as Captain America. He's got... One wing really big and out, and then he has one wing kind of in front of him, shielding him. He did do that a few times in the show. I would have preferred both wings be totally out, like spread eagle. 
we already have one really cool Falcon. So I think kind of showing that he uses his wings to like block bullets too is fine. So I'm cool with it. So that's the entire set. Then we get an LE Doctor Strange. Then we get a Spider-Man play at home kit. So really quick, just to break it down for everybody, because I, I have no life when I recorded this. <laughs> um, we got 21 figures from What If. We got 16 figures from WandaVision. We got 13 figures from Falcon and Winter Soldier. We got 10 figures from Loki. We have three items from What If. That would be the Tesseract, the Cloak of Levitation, and the Captain Carter Shield. We have one item from WandaVision, the Darkhold. And we have four items from Falcon and Winter Soldier. And we get an entire zero items uh, from Loki. So I think even though like Loki has like the least amount of figures, I think he fills out probably the best his show. And then I think it's WandaVision close, yeah. probably has the most like wasted figures. Like I, I will say just really quickly, I like that they give us an end version Wanda and an end version vision. And like, same thing with like an end version, Captain America, Sam Wilson in the common, right. in the common slot, because otherwise trying to get those is like super rares and chases just and the stuff. Chases, yeah is really tough so like letting someone who doesn't want to have to track down the chase to get a end version scarlet witch end version captain america that's really cool so i'm not going to fault them for like that reuse however this is again this is my opinion in figures that we wasted here um or what if i think we wasted a lot of set slots on getting an extra t'challa with a mask off or on and then we have three captain carters in this set i think we're a waste just i think maybe two is what we needed one yeah. in her just the soldier looking would have been one. fine. Yeah. Then I guess then that kind of goes back to saying, okay, fine. A lower rarity one. Yeah, sure. The but common still, one. Really yeah. Instead of super and super rare. Um, I think uh, Monica, Billy, Tommy, Tyler, and then the uh, extra vision are kind of a waste for uh, what's it called? WandaVision. Uh, just because we already have a Monica. I think Billy and Tommy could have been pogs. They don't do that much. Uh, uh, maybe I'll give Tyler Hayward a pass since he's sort of a mm, bad guy, not really. But um, yeah, I think Zemo, Power Broker, and then the extra Winter Soldier are all kind of a waste unless they are incredibly different from each other. But um, I think Sharon could have just been somebody else, you know. And then I think Miss Minutes, Alligator Loki, uh, and then Prez Loki are a waste. And really quickly, here's what I would have replaced those 14 characters with. Uh, Battlestar, Kylie Morgenthau, um, Kill Everybody in the World, Hank Pym, Boastful Loki. We're missing uh, the Loki with the hammer. I think yeah. it really sucks because we would get more sense Loki than Kid President Loki. Loki. Yeah. Like way uh, more sense, Zombie, but... uh, Zombie Scarlet Witch, uh, Hawkeye from the Apocalyptic set, and AO, and then I think maybe he could have done this. I think it would have been funny, but a South Dakota, North Dakota, uh, Captain Marvel. Um, that's what I'm going to call her, as I just find that hilarious. But I, I would have put her in it because she does play a pretty big role, and then we don't have a Brie Larson. And I don't like Captain Marvel. I made that plenty clear plenty of times, but I think uh, putting her in it just to finally get a Brie Larson would have been fine. And then I mean, we do uh, have what a else? Captain Marvel movie set. No oh, longer, yeah, I guess that's no true. Never mind. I yeah, I guess we do have that. Yeah, I guess, man, we don't need her. Um, and then Flag Smasher, I think we could have used Flag Smasher generic, a TVA agent, a TVA guard, a generic zombie, an Ultron Joan, a Dora Milaje, or a sword agent. So, like, those are all figures that I think we could have had. But I think the biggest ones is, like, but no Boastful Loki, no Battlestar, no Kylie Morgenthau. Like, that really hurts, I, yeah. I think, the most. Like, the main antagonist of Falcon Winter Soldier. Um, like, first of all, no, no, my man Battlestar, no representation. That's just messed up. I hate that. And then, yeah, Boastful Loki to finish out the old man Loki, kid Loki, like, that crew. Um, that's deep. But again, we don't know what WizKids, like, what info they were working with when they made this set. It's it's really weird. Because, like, they gave US Agent a shield when we know, like, he technically makes a shield, but while he's still Captain America, he never has a shield when he is U.S. agent. So, um, and then of course, you know, they make the Gamora and then the, the Sakaar and Iron Man, which weren't, you know, actually released. You know, they make, um, but then, and then they make President Loki, who was like a um, production, like, image shot they show off. And then they make Alligator Loki, who wasn't, like, shown off. Like, Alligator Loki, Kid Loki, Old Man Loki. I don't think those were images we saw. That was a pretty big twist. So I'm I don't know how much information WizKids had when they made this set. Um it's really like tough to figure out like 
how much they give people like how much they let action figure yeah. companies you know i feel like i feel like we we also should have gotten um like man at the end of the time or whatever whatever is right that's, was that's why i'm curious if they um, would have gotten any of that information you know from the Loki Richards, series Kang. like technically ravona renslayers like and hunter b15 are like the antagonists uh miss minutes to like a lesser extent is like an so, antagonist but like well, that's that's another thing um no go ahead finish your thought n- yeah no, just it. it's weird that like we got kind of filler pieces like i could have gone without hunter b15 uh she does like a lot of the yeah, exposition I towards the beginning too. and then president loki just definitely did not need to be there um could have been something that was like either generated or i don't know it's a cool look but like it is for a super rare it's a strange choice when like we said like not a lot of screen time um not a lot of well like zero not just not a lot of screen time but like zero capacity of like what does he do you know he like right. gathered together other Lokis, but he didn't do it like successfully. He didn't, like his whole plan like failed, and they don't yeah. even show him really doing any like fighting or illusions or trickery. Like right. he does the least out of all the Lokis that we see, which is saying quite a bit. Yeah, because yeah. Kid Loki honestly doesn't do a whole lot either. He's yeah, like, well, I mean, he doesn't do much, but arguably the most powerful. Him or Old Man Loki, because Kid Loki kills Thor, and then Old Man Loki is like just a crazy illusion, which is a shame that they're in the rare slots. You know, right. I would have, I would have killed for an Old Man Loki, really big sculpt where he's like, he's kind of oh, like bent like over, green, and he's got like, like his hands him. out. Yeah, with like, or like the, yeah, like you. So you do like translucent energy. towards the top, and then like, so it's like when he's yeah building the like city. That would yeah, really that'd cool be sculpt. awesome. Kind of like um, a. KC Green Lantern, but yeah, 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 yeah. like that'd uh, been really cool. I will. But, um, so going on. from assuming uh, the objects are in order, going from the Darkhold, I'm gonna say that's. I'm gonna assume that's a chase object that goes to Scarlet yeah. Witch. Red Wing probably goes to that Falcon that has Red Wing popping up over his shoulder. Yeah, um, the Tesseract, because then Absolutely I would have harder. to say. Tesseract has to go to Captain Carter. Or Hydra or Stomper. Hydra Stomper. Um, yeah. Then, like, the next would be Cloak of Levitation, that, which has to be Spider-Man, because mm-hmm. otherwise you'd have to go all the way to... I'm mean, this is... I'm assuming that these are in order. Um, might be wrong. So, right. if Cloak order, of Levitation, yeah. possibly for Spider-Man. I also like that I could probably break that off the base and fit it in the uh, utility belt. Yeah, it looks like it, <laughs> it totally fun. goes there. Uh... Captain America's shield then would go to John Walker, the non-prime. Oh, they're probably, yeah, they're probably not in order then now that I'm because just looking at Because then, yeah, that. US Agent's shield would have been, yeah. Like, would have to be the prime. So that's, that's like, the one part where it gets, like, kind of wonky. Yeah. Um, and I don't know where Captain America's shield would fit other than that, or US Agent's shield would fit. And then we get Captain Carter's shield. So it's like, well, was that for the super yeah. rare prime? Uh yeah. So yeah, I don't know what the order of these is, what the order of these are in, but yeah, uh, like Calder said, Super Soldier Serum probably Power Broker, maybe Sharon Carter. I'd hate to have Prime equipments. Uh, yeah, that's that's the problem. Well, we know one is going to be a Prime equipment, which is like a shame. At the very least, US Agent yeah. Shield is a Prime equipment. Um, and then again, like at the very least, one of these is like a Chase equipment. Man, I, I can't imagine the Dark Hole is going to go on the. What are we? Uh, what are we thinking for so, three shields? Uh, a lot of people will seem to think like Captain America's shield should get leadership. And I don't know why anyone thinks that ever like Captain America's shield doesn't make him a good leader. I'm really hoping that it is just like invulnerability and then ESD if they keep it simple or some way to like bounce the shield off. US agent shield. I would really, really like it if it would like fall apart. Um, you know, like he can only make so many attacks, like he gets like toughness. And then after he makes like, he can maybe maybe modify damage plus one, but after he makes like, give him three shield tokens, every time he makes a close attack, remove a shield token. And then he unequip the shield or something like, like that's not us agent shield. That's like when he's still captain America and makes a homemade captain America shield. So again, it's not technically when he's us agent, but 
still like we don't we don't know because we never got a you know u.s agent shield in the show we never got the this is just a comic design you know look like the the black red white and then black in the middle like circle um captain carter shield no idea what it's what like the difference between that and like captain america's shield to be fair she didn't throw it much so maybe if captain america's shield is more of a throwy shield and then her shield is more of a like defensive type shield i could see that sure super soldier serum and i just like super strength maybe if it's actually if it's the exact same thing as the venom Venom harness yeah yeah, if it's the venom harness but like maybe sans battle fury maybe no battle fury just like do like plus one stats and then like for a turn maybe take damage or possibly take damage yeah yeah i'd be okay with that i think it'd be really awesome but there's a lot i mean cloak levitation hopefully it's more than just like flight maybe flight hypersonic oh it doesn't need to be another surfboard but you know flight running shot maybe uh who knows um tesseract can be a lot of things people like what does it what does it do though you know what i mean like, yeah old, the old tesseract and like the other cosmic cubes would be like it would let you kind of phase around or it would let you outwit or maybe incapacitate like right tesseract always has like weird power sets in hero clicks like it Your used to do what was it like power from outwit it. Then well, so yeah, because the the actual the like in one. comics, the Tesseract or Cosmic Cube is like a lighter version of the Infinity Gauntlet, and then in MCU, it was just the housing of like an Infinity Stone, um, like the Space Gem or something. I don't know. Uh, so like, yeah, the in the MCU, the Tesseract is like the space, like make portals move places. Like you know, that's how Loki opens up the um gateway for the the main avengers movie to let the whatever aliens in the right Chitauri. yeah um but so yeah going from that like but also like red skull uses it to like power weapons because it is like a giant energy it's a power, i mean it's way, it's a power right? source like that's what's yeah. uh powering the hydra stomper right so i don't i don't know like it, they could again make it be like quote unquote like a power thing gives you like invulnerability perplex you know something like that yeah. like i don't know got a lot know? of like options alternatively plus like, one the stats for some reason it doesn't go with the hydra stomper or captain carter and it goes with like one of the loki's it could just be like a phasing like dimensional Paperweight? kind of thing yeah oh phasing yeah <laughs> yeah if it somehow goes to the loki i mean Let's just kind of assume, sadly, that like none of the commons or uncommons are getting items because that's yeah. normally how it's been since Thor. So it's probably like, yeah, like Power Broker or Sharon Carter gets the Super Soldier Serum. Uh, John Walker probably gets Captain America's shield. U.S. Agent gets U.S. Agent shield. Cloak for Spider-Man. Tesseract, I'm going to say Hydra Stomper. Captain Carter shield, either Captain Carter. And then Red Wing, Falcon, Darkhold, Wanda. It could be something like, I mean, this is another like, you know, complete speculation. Um, But you know how like the garbage can isn't an equipment for like anyone other than the Spider-Man that comes with it. The Tesseract could be something where like when the Hydra Stomper has it equipped or has it on its car, like whatever you want to say, it's able to do like more and then if it gets damaged or something, it like kicks the Tesseract out or something, you know, um, like drops it. So it could be like an object that's only useful for the one character. Like there, that's also a possibility. I mean, similar to Red Wing, like I can't imagine what Red Wing really does that like improved targeting yeah. and stuff like that makes sense. But um, like, what would another like, character equip it for kind of thing? That's like just... Maybe a way like how the illusion generator makes like the illusion robot guys or whatever. Then like this thing just sort of spits out Red Wing sure. somehow, you know, in, in some form or fashion, like who knows? Yeah. But yeah. Um, but no, it's an interesting set. Like I know I might have sounded really hard on it, but I mean, they made they made basically every character I wanted them to make like sand some of the stuff they're missing from Falcon and Winter Soldier. This is an awesome. This really is like an awesome, awesome set. I'll probably definitely have all of it at one point. Um, but seeing like certain chases, like I maybe need only three of the chases, so I might not. I was originally going to collect all this set. Maybe I won't collect all this set. 
but we'll we'll see it, yeah. it kind of depends but all this equipment though means i'm definitely getting i think two cases like minimum two cases and then whatever seals i play of this set um yeah. outside of uh, i'll say outside of uh the primes there's only three sculpts that are reused monica rambo t'challa star lord and baron zemo um so that's Which is nice. nice we like you know i'd like to not see any sculpt reuse but Obviously, there's going to be some in every set. Uh, so outside of the prime slots, those are the only three, which is nice. Uh, I would have liked to have seen that be like a 70 figure set list and then have all the room for generics like Wonder Woman 80th had. I think there was plenty of generics to pull from, which would have made the set like uh, a plus plus in my eyes. Oh, yeah. But oh, yeah. I mean, that being said, it's still like a I'd still give it like an a plus rating. It's a really solid set list, some really awesome looking sculpts. Um, and then like the equipment kind of pushes it over for me. I like looking at the chases. There's, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the Loki looking chase. Uh, the Gamora oh. looks more like a super rare to me, but like the rest of them are like definitely ones that I'd like to have at some point, like Agatha and Scarlet, Witch just look really cool. Uh, like yes. display wise, those would be like awesome just to like, have next to each other kind of thing um and then yeah the super rares for the most part all look really nice uh you know oh, yeah. the rares look really cool um the whole set i i think is awesome uh once we start seeing dials and stuff it'll be a little bit easier to figure out what i'm looking at but yeah i definitely think this is a multiple case kind of thing especially like for me uh, I do not want, I want to be able to pull like Ultron Infinity, preferably yeah. two, yeah. so that yeah. I can sell one and keep one, but I do not want to have to buy that on the secondary market. No. It's going to be no. spendy. All right, so they said they said mission points are coming back. I know we already speculated like potential uh, Prez Loki is either like maybe mission point. I could see him being mission point or title character. Who are your who are your bets for like mission points here? I, so, I hope... Have to we make seen... another Ultron mission point? <laughs> Give him mission point, yeah, you know? That would be pretty sweet. We have three Ultrons with mission point capabilities. Um, have we seen a mission point figure that was under, like, the rare rarity? Like, have we seen an uncommon so. or common? I don't think so. so I don't think we've ever I seen I would have said Doctor Strange point. Supreme, but... Yeah, I know, right? Like, that uh. seems like a cool one to pick. Um, I could say, like, Miss Minutes... Would make so, sense for me because like Uatu and uh, is, Herbie um, were both mission points. Oh yeah. So a little off topic, I guess. But did you know that the last episode of Loki was originally supposed to be like sort of like a boss battle against like a giant Miss Minutes? Really? No. So, yeah, yeah. So like, depending on what information Wizkids like has, this might be a really <laughs> weird <laughs> Miss Minutes dial. Gets like a colossal, um, like stop click turns colossal. Right. Yeah, or just something wild, you know. Um, I honestly, I could see Party Thor. Uh, I think it, I could see Party Thor being a mission points, trying okay. to put on the biggest party, or trying to clean up his mess. That is the party, like leave party debris markers everywhere, similar to an Ultron, I guess, type mission point. Party debris is everywhere, and then uh, whenever he's within X squares or something, give him a power action, pick up a party debris, or like when he like moves through it, like something like that, because yeah. like the, the end of the episode is like his mom is gonna come to Earth, and he's like, oh, I gotta <laughs> clean up Earth. And so he's got to like fix the Eiffel uh, Tower and Mount Rushmore and all this stuff. I could um, really see like, that'd be cool. them continuing the trend of having like the prime slot have mission points. So Power Broker, okay. uh, potentially both of the Captain Carter super rares. Um, yeah. I could see both of like, you know, I could I could reason how the Power Broker could do mission points. And then Captain Carter would have like more of like a generic like... Um, when like KOing like opposing characters kind of like thing. But yeah, I could, I could see both of those. Uh, Captain Carter also, uh, even though it doesn't have like the extended name would have been like a super solid piece yeah. to pick for a title character. Title. Yeah. I think she'd be a title character. Um, I kind of hope that a, um, a Falcon or a version of him as Captain America is a title character. I definitely feel like, one of the Wandas should be a title character. I don't want a title character to be a chase. I don't think they've made a yeah. chase title character. I think it's always no, been yeah. super. No, yeah, we've had uh, Reed Richards. Uh, oh, yeah, never mind. Of the universe, yeah. yeah. We've had Instantly a couple, wrong. I think. 
I can't, so yeah, I outside see, of him, I can't think of one. But I don't think they say. I think they just say mission points are coming back. What do they say? Title characters. Ooh, uh, yeah, they say mission points will also return to enhance mission point teams. So when it says like I don't know, it says enhance mission point teams released in the last few sets, which makes me think Ultron is like hundred percent a mission point character. Yeah, I I want him to be. I want Ultrons to be good mission points. I love the Wrecking Crew. I did fall in love with the Ultrons as soon as I saw them, so yeah, I would like Ultron them to be Pym good mission points as well. Is like I'd still like to find a way to make that one like at least potential because currently oh, yeah. I think it's just a little too rough to like try and sprint across the map kind of thing. But yeah. technically, has the well has like one of the shorter turn to like win ratio for mission points i mean it's just really hard to it's build. exactly it is exactly six turns but if he ever dies yeah got nothing <laughs> yeah like that's the rough part about Tell it me yeah. it's easy to ko a stealth impervious character impossible he's got he's got mastermind okay oh, he's got true. mastermind <laughs> all right yeah. well, let's, uh, let's not be too judgmental um but yeah no i just i love it i i do like the sculpts though like if we want to compare this to the last set you got some dynamic sculpts. Sure, there's some where it's just sort of standing around, but like, like at least you know we make fun of T posing Monica. At least she's doing something. We got break yeah. dancing. Batch rock is cool. Jumping up, uh, T'Challa, Star Lord shooting is cool. Um, Hydra Stomper, you know, Pietro having like the yeah. the movement effect. I mean, obviously, yeah, like, I think yeah, I think I've already said it, but I think that super rare Falcon is the coolest sculpt in the oh, set. It's... I it's think probably that's probably one of the cooler the sculpts sculpt. that we've had in like a while. I I feel like you'll have to see the rest of them in person. Like maybe Sakaar and Iron Man is like really freaking big and like really cool. But like so far, just looking at digital renders, that Falcon sculpt is the best sculpt in this set. It looks beautiful. I really like it. Yeah. It's uh and it's like it's an iconic pose when he sort of like does that fall backwards thing. Um sadly he never had his like double Uzis in this show because like that was like a really cool thing he didn't you know with a winter soldier movie where he'd fall back and like fart on you with his little uzi bullets which was great um it's probably a better way to word that but i didn't use it anyway those little bullets little little bullets yeah i'm sure people getting hit by them think they're so small um but yeah uh yeah i like it like the flowing capes and stuff like we had a cool flowing cape in doctor strange you know supreme in the uncommon slot and sadly um the Loki series of figures probably bring the worst sculpts to the table. Just dudes standing around like Ravona, Hunter, Mobius, yeah. Mobius normal hands Loki, in pocket. and in pocket. I mean, like, yeah. I don't know what I want them to be doing because like, right. that's just sort of what they do is like stand around. But like they do, they are bringing the weakest sculpts. I really party. like for so like for Mobius, I mean, for like R- Mobius and Ravona, she, I mean, she's like holding her like little staff, like taser stick thing. Um, yeah, it's not a taser like disintegrates people. Uh, but I really want them to start bringing back those little effects that like certain characters would get like, uh, Mobius, yeah. like holding up like his little device and having like a hologram kind of thing in his hand. Like we used to get a lot of those. Well, I shouldn't say a lot, but we like, you know, five, six plus years ago, we would get sculpts where, um, you'd have characters like, uh, Oracle, and you'd have like screens and stuff around or like you'd have like those little effects that weren't like huge, but they added a lot to like these simple dials and sculpts and stuff. Uh, little stuff like that. I mean, just it's not like huge, but like Billy Maximoff's got like a little hex magic thing in his hand. Yeah. But uh, other than the chase Scarlet Witch, none of the uh, Scarlet Witches or Wanda's have like any kind of effects. That is true. Yeah, that is a bit of a, a bummer. You know, could have been a little tasing stuff off would have of also, the sticks or whatever. I haven't seen it, and so I don't know, but it, it would have been really cool because, like, the Watcher has glowing eyes. It would have been cool to do the swapped head version of Galactus and have, like, the effect coming out of his eyes. I don't oh, know sure. how possible that is on, like, the tiny sculpt stuff, but that's just, like... A... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I just like uh, adding, yeah, that would be cool. adding dumb amounts of stuff. Need more to these things, schools. yeah. Um, actually, uh, you know who should have mission points? It should be it should be Falcon. He he's got to put the boat back together. Oh, okay. collect the <laughs> boat parts, and then and then Red Wing with hypersonic can help him go get the yeah, boat parts. The Falcon man. 
it's like when a character named the Falcon or Winter uh, Soldier uh, is on like a boat part yes, object. Yes. Power action to it. Oh, like, uh, yes. Yeah. But like, once again, another like Ultron Pym type thing is all we can think of. But try yes, to get dude, a load. Falcon. <laughs> try to get a load. Oh, no. <laughs> uh. I was on TV, you know? I'm one of those Avengers people. Yeah, I think. Oh, that's great, but, like, what have you done? You haven't worked in the last five years. We can't just issue credit to someone who hasn't, like, what? <laughs> that whole, uh, yeah. Thanks would be more understanding. Don't need to get that into, like, the... Uh, like, didn't make any sense. No. Within, like, like, nah, they like, would be pretty Like, all banks, half of the world was gone, and then five years later, whatever, half the world comes back, and every bank has decided to just not loan anything to the, like right. the fifty percent of the population. Like I, I feel like that's now. not how it would work, but Yeah. It makes zero zero sense. Here at USA Bank, we don't like money. Can't yeah. stand it. No. Can't stand it. Hate money so much. Uh collector could have mission points. Collect things. Knows. Could get another watcher character. with mission points, yeah. Yeah, I'd be okay with another watcher with mission points. Put them both on the team. Yeah. Let's do it. I Fine mean, it, it. at this point, I mean, yeah, I could see like a quarter of the set having mission points. So yeah, it'll be interesting if it's it, just more you're like, one you know or two. Yeah. I'd really yeah. like, so when they say enhance mission points, I'd really love for someone that doesn't get you mission points, but they like do oh. something in the, like the vein of when a friendly character would gain a mission points they gain one additional mission point or something like that. Ooh, I'd really dude. like to see ah. something like that. Uh, I like that. Where it's it's not like I don't get mission points on my own, but I I enhance the mission point experience. Oh, uh, that's cool. Yeah. That's a good... Ooh, I like that. I like I'd that really like to see something like that. I think that's what mission points are lacking is some form of, like, ultra build where... Yeah. You stack stuff. They're, they're getting viable. They're yeah. getting more and more viable by the set. So keep it up, Wiz Kids. Hundred percent. I like. No, I like that idea, Simeon. Um, and I, I uh, just like looking at all these guys. Really hope Zombie Cap uh, brings back um, virus and food. Oh yes. Really badly. Really badly. Z virus straight. Food back. Yeah. Oh, if he has Z virus keyword, if we could I get would be so happy. I would Zombie lose Cap it. with Z virus trait, and then, um some sort of legacy card for I, I don't even really okay. care which zombie right. we're but... gonna talk legacy cards let's talk legacy cards <laughs> yeah. right now what what's uh what's normally what do we get like eight ten legacy cards per set is that the <laughs> sure. average something okay yeah. all right um, um uh, we want to just say r slash hero clicks bets the legacy cards yeah wanna, the... wanna do off offhand picks here i'll write them down even. Bets. uh let's see okay so i did get an order from Cool Stuff Inc. Okay. So I've been doing this thing where every time I order, I pick up a couple older figures. I'm sort of hedging my bets for because like these are characters that I wanted to collect, and now I'm worried that they're gonna be like fifty plus dollars when I go to get them because they're gonna get a legacy card. Um, so I did get what set is that Gamora from? I did get uh, one of the first Gamoras that they made. Okay. Uh, Secret Invasion. Yeah, I got the Secret Invasion Gamora. Seventy three points. Um, she doing. She's a super rare. She's unique. She's doing like a sidekick thing. Uh, I will say because of how much love love that uh, Gamora is getting, we'll either get that Secret Invasion super rare or per perhaps the Guardians of the Galaxy set or Galactic Guardians. Like the so the Guardians of the Galaxy is a uh, common, and then the Galactic Guardians is a rare. I will say that might be one of them. Like one of those three might be one of the legacy cards. I feel like that's okay. possible, pretty possible. Um, so my my first bid for legacy. So I'm writing down for Simeon Invasion Gamora. Uh, my first guess is going to be Flag Smasher from the Deadpool set. Oh, I think okay. I think yeah. I think we make. I think we they they redo flag smasher. I I could hundred percent see that. You know, if we are keeping it relatively themed with this set, you know the the dial. I still like flag smasher's dial. I'm looking it up on HC Realms, even though I know they're missing his last click, which bothers me to high heaven. Uh, to this day, 
just want you guys to know, HC Realms still does not have Flag Smasher's last click. Uh, and it's absolutely... <laughs> Uh, it's Flight Dash Smasher. There we go. So he's seven click long dial, even though HC Realms only has six clicks of life uh, on HC Realms for whatever reason. His last click is a like Pulse Wave, something crazy, like cool click. But, anyways, Pulse Wave phasing something else. Yeah, he's 119 points on this like 75 point dial, I think, by today's standards. Um, and I think he's got plenty of cool stuff to work with. He's got Running Shot Pulse Wave right away. He's got Perplex. He's got some special speed powers. Um, he's got, you know, a pretty cool trait that you can, like, mess with. So, yeah, ruler, ultimatum keywords, you know, bring his point cost down. I could see, I could see, uh, I could 100% see Flag Smasher being made. Nice. Yeah. All right, so, um, uh, yeah, second pick. Okay, so I'll say what I what I wish it would be, but then I'll say what I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be. Uh, okay. So I really like to see the duo Dormammu and Loki from ADW. Ooh, ooh. I think like that was one of my not like favorite Very. pieces from that set, but it was a really cool piece. Did some pretty interesting stuff. Um, you could turn special objects, you could remove them and turn them into mindless ones. So that was kind of fun. Um, but yeah, it's not technically a duo fig. Like it wasn't made in the era of duo figs, but it's still like a really cool duo piece kind of thing. The one that I actually think it'll be is I think they'll go back to the first Loki, the Mutant Mayhem one, okay. uh, is 096, kind of like, you know, Thanos and some of the other ones that we've seen that are those big uniques that we used to get. Uh, on a flight base, he's 160 points with Minions of Doom team ability. Uh, he's got Phasing, Pensai, 16 with Invulnerability, and 3 damage with Prob, 8 range, 2 lightning bolts. Um, really cool sculpt. I think, you know depending on how much flavor they add to his card, I think this guy could get discounted to like 80 points or a hundred. Okay. They don't do All huge right. discounts on these guys, but oh. I think this one could really see like, unless his dial does something re- like, or his card does something like really crazy. I think this guy could for sure, just because of how many Lokis are in the set, um, be one of the, I think picks. What, the biggest discount we've seen is like 20. 30 points i think is like um the biggest so i just played right? i just played the uh fantastic forces doom the ultimate's doom who is originally 186 and he's now 125 so he's a 61 point discount oh wow okay Jeez. so yeah yeah that's pretty that's pretty big margin for like getting stuff off uh, my next up pick is going to be Guardians of the Galaxy movie 001 Star Lord, and here here's why. Um, Simeon, slight spoiler, but obviously when T'Challa is Star Lord, that means they grabbed the wrong kid. So Peter Quill <laughs> is still back on Earth, and uh, remember in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy two when Ego starts like taking over like the planet, you see like it uh is the weird gross planet thing starts like eating up a Dairy Queen. Yeah. Remember that? Uh, so Peter Quill in this universe is the like manager or something at this Dairy Queen. <laughs> um, so that's why I think this Star-Lord dial is like perfect for it. So he's like starting. He has like stealth, special attack power, combat reflexes and leadership. You no, know, he's, you know, he's stealth. He's just working inside Dairy Queen. Attack power, who knows what it could be. Combat reflexes, anything, that's fine. Leadership, you know, teamwork makes the dream work. All the minimum wage employee job, like, sayings that they have and stuff. And he's got, like, some outwit, some ESD. Pretty average, like, values and stuff. He's only five clicks long. He's 95 points. Like, I think we could very easily... He's got a trait. Um, you could easily turn this star lord i think into uh into peter quill dairy queen manager like super easily and i would i would love it if that's what they chose to do with this legacy card like like i mean just like how they did with the uh, cyclops they made him a totally different like working like figure so if we make like this star lord like dairy queen manager star Wars lord i would i would lose it i would love it so much um but yeah that that's my i don't know if it's a real pick it's a dream pick but <laughs> I'd like to see it. All right. Um, So I'm going off like the what if theme, trying to think like, you know, what iconic thing would you really pull from that that you could like have a good legacy card for? Uh, 
the Galactic Guardians two by two watcher, Uatu the Watcher. Ooh, I think ooh. with the amount of two by twos that we've seen him kind of doing, like this last the Thor set uh, that just came out, or the Realms, whatever, um, had what three? Yeah, three two by twos. I think yeah, Uatu true. could definitely, especially on that support dial. You you know you redo his trait, uh, maybe even keep his points at fifty. Um, that support dial would definitely like be able to see play with perplex prob outwit like you know uh no idea what they would do for his trait but like obviously they've got a lot of like room to work with that and then if you want to do his bigger like can attack dial uh and point cost that like there's obviously like way more stuff that they can do so yeah i think that's a really solid sculpt um if people don't already own one that's probably one of like the better shelf pieces that are like desk piece or whatever that you could get and he's not stupid expensive right now like i think uatu's like pretty he's always been somewhat cheap because he just wasn't like super hard to get at first but yeah 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 no that'd be really cool and he starts like anywhere on the map right that watcher you just like plop him down somewhere uh, i think it depends on which dial you play him at um oh, okay but yeah the the 50 point support one is place him anywhere on the map that's at least two squares away from a starting area he may not be healed or make an attack this game which he has zero attack zero damage uh each time he uses perplex outwit or probability control you place a broken vow token on the card so that was like his whole thing he's not supposed to interact and stuff right. um, and then at the beginning of your turn you remove all broken vow tokens from the card roll a d6 that can't be re-rolled for each token removed for each result of one through four deal him one unavoidable damage so you had you could use your support powers but then uh, the more you used them the more likely you were to uh take damage thing that's um, really exciting is if they do uh switch up his attacking dial his like more impressive dial his cheaper starting line he actually has an 11 for four printed for 200 points and then he's got 12 range triple lightning bolt so uh currently he has on that line uh, barrier, mind control, and pensai with 14 speed phasing teleport. He could be, you know, depending on like the cost and what powers they give him, could be a pretty cool like 100 point line. My next pick from the Civil War OP kit set 015 Battle Star. I mean, like you heard me complain about him. Not having a Battle Star in the set really sucks. So if you'd like to give us one, uh, I think a legacy card would be great. Uh, yeah, you give us uh, just a Lamar Hoskins in any way, shape, or form is a okay with me. You know he's got pretty average stats. I think you could probably bring him down to like fifty points. What he does, you know, ten attack, you know, starting like charge quake and stuff. Uh, he's not like crazy, crazy powerful. I think you could also make him like represent like how Lamar is played in the TV show as well. But if not, just getting a Lamar is awesome. Yeah, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go out on a limb. This one's probably my least likely that I think, uh, but I'd really like for them to pull some stuff from the what if set. So my pick from that would be because we've got a bunch yeah. of characters already in the set with the cloak of levitation. Would be the zero four two super rare Punisher of the Strange. He's Ooh. got two traits, no special powers, um, and I just I really really think that they could flavor up this guy just by changing his two traits, maybe giving him a point reduction kind of thing. I think he's pretty sweet sculpt and I always really liked this piece. I just never played it as often as I would because he was so expensive. Yeah. I mean, a hundred points at the time felt all right, but then you're like no willpower, no move and attack like top dial stealth. That is really, really rough. I, I could dig I could dig something like that though. Um any pick so for this one I just said any Bucky cap. So that could be the I don't think it would ever be the gravity feed version of him, but I think and there's only two, but either the America set like zero zero one uh Bucky is Captain America or the Fear itself Captain America. They haven't I don't think they've done many LEs or starter type figures, I don't think. The closest they got was like with the Giants that were still technically in the main set. So I I would probably put my money on a Captain America set Bucky Barnes. And this kind of is also like, you know, 
the only it, it would be like the only Bucky I could really see them making. But I I could potentially see like we haven't got a Bucky cap in almost ten years now, which is just painful and I hate it. But you know, if we're given you know people that used to have a Captain America shield or whatever, I think a version of Bucky cap would be a pretty solid pick for legacy card. Okay. To go along with that, I I did order um, the Cap and Bucky duo figure Ooh. from uh, that was one of my cool stuff like ones where I was like yeah, this could be one. it's like an old duo figure could be redone and also it was just a sculpt that I wanted to get before uh, it potentially like shot up in price like I really would have liked to have had the Thor and Loki just as like a shelf piece before it was now like sixty dollars or whatever that's going for now but that's yeah that's one where uh we don't actually get a captain america in this set we have like skinny steve hydra stomper as far as steve goes and then we've got um, like, obviously Cap. captain america um falcon but we don't get like an actual steve right. rogers in the set other than those oh uh, and i mean there really wasn't like a steve rogers no in any of these you know it was just it was skinny steve hydra stomper and then zombie cap and like that's it we're like the the main players and there's like you know captain america is like represented through the show by like the legacy and like all that you know jazz what they were doing so it would be cool I'm like that but you know that's why i think we probably wouldn't just get like a steve rogers captain america and it would probably be like either somebody else with the shield i just think bucky just so overdue to get the shield and then you know uh, yeah, I, th I could see the duo happening, though. If, if they hadn't made the Thor and Loki duo, then I'd be like, man, I don't know if they'll ever make duos. But since they did make Thor and Loki, I can 100% see them making that, like, Captain America right. and Bucky. So, yeah. Yeah. And, like, another no, number one, it's the first duo ever made. Like, Cap and Bucky is, is an awesome, awesome duo. And, like, it's... It could, yeah, I mean, they already have Close Combat Expert on dial. I'm trying to figure out, like, what you could give them traded. They definitely need some help. You're, like, you're looking at this, like, yeah. oh, man, 138 points. Right, yeah, that's, like, no. maybe 50. Uh, but then you'd also have to have some, like, damage. It would be a, it'd be a really solid 50. I would say that, like, a 9-click long, like, 50. But again, it's, like, charge, 11 attack, 2 damage per plex. Well, you and know, I think a lot of defense. these, because they don't change the dial too much, I think a lot of these legacy figures are kind of top-heavy. So you're pretty much paying yeah. for like the first two clicks. Um, I'll say like that Doom that I played, uh, the Fantastic Forces Doom, at 125, he can kind of pull his own weight, uh, the bystander generation stuff like that's really cool. Oh, yeah. But if you get hit for like five pen, you have now like the most garbage piece. Uh, let me like, True. so I said five pen damage. So if you end up on click five or six, you now have a nine attack for two damage or an eight attack for two damage, and you have a 15 defense with willpower. Um, obviously, he can boost attack and defense with his like trait, but probably not going to help too much. His last click is a seven. It's a six, seven, 13, two. So it's a 13 defense, two damage, seven attack, uh, six speed. Also, on click one, he has running shot. The entire rest of his dial, he has no move or no speed power. It's like that that doom for 125 points is like the definition of a top heavy piece. Oh, yeah, no, 100%. I'm trying to think. Like, I mean, that Thanos is pretty top heavy, but like, still does this like whole free stuff that he needs to do. Um, yeah, I think, I think, yeah, most of those just old figures are just like top heavy, just dial wise on all of them. Yeah. Uh, it's almost like they my next... used to get weaker as they got damaged or something. Oh, crazy! What a crazy, crazy. design I mean, concept it, that was. He got marginally weaker, like way crazy weaker. Like um, you know, eight attack, fourteen defense, stuff like that. You know, like it was wild. It's like just um, it's like so the my Randy next Marsh, pick... like I didn't hear no bell. Where yeah, dude, like, exactly like, right. Seconds like, from death, but it's like I still have the... a twelve defense. <laughs> like what in the world? Um, so yeah, like that's kind of who's going to go with my next pick. I'm choosing, and I don't know if they've done a lot of LEs, but or I'm going to go for Armor Wars John Walker. Uh, John oh, Walker okay. as Captain America in Armor Wars. I could see him getting remade. Uh, he is very, I don't even know if we can call him top heavy for 58 points. He's a 10 attack, 2 damage, uh, 8 speed charge, 16 defense, ESD. 
And then he drops all the way down to a 5 speed, 6 attack, 12 defense, 1 damage with close combat expert and ESD on those clicks. So, like, like definition of I ain't heard no bell, the, the close combat expert at the end of the dial with the 6 attack <laughs> and 1 damage is hilarious. But I could see him, you know, trying to beef up this, this John Walker, you know, maybe give him traded combat reflexes. You know, that way at least he's an 18 closer ranged top dial. Um, could be kind of nice. Um, helps with him having charge. But like, yeah, and he's 50 points is overcosted. And then, you know, he's a um, he's sort of my pick for no card, like does not have a card here, like old RED style. Like, yeah. Big. Um, yeah. I don't think I've picked any REV stuff yet. Um, uh, so my my next choice, though, and this is one that I, I think I've said like multiple times. I it's one of my favorite sculpts, and it's one of like my favorite dials. So of like the stuff in this set list, obviously Ultron Infinity as a chase like really sticks out as like a pretty cool character, pretty big, pretty important feature in the thing yeah. in the the what if series i guess um so if you go through what ultrons we have there's obviously the rev from infinity challenge that was the first one with that 14 attack top dial uh i hope it's none of those because it's a terrible <laughs> sculpt and yeah. i do not want to have to own any of those um armor wars similarly has uh the rev ultron 5 11 and 16 i hope it's none of those I hope it's the super rare from Hammer of Thor because that it's okay. like the most sweet looking sculpt that like I, I won't say the because Age of Ultron had some really cool Ultrons as well. But it's one of the coolest Ultrons from like the old timey like back in the day. Uh, what would that be like 2007 ish? Um, so this Ultron has a 12 attack with pulse wave, 12 speed with charge, impervious top dial four damage. It's got one special uh, speed power, one special power on its dial, period. But uh, I think if they dropped it, like, you know, added a few traits, dropped it to like 125, maybe 150, depending on what the traits do. Uh, it's a really solid figure. The 12 watt range, one lightning bolt is really cool. Uh, and then it's, I don't know. I just really I don't want any of the old uniques to really be uh, chosen anymore because those are already kind of expensive figures yeah. like just being old um this one being a super rare it is a little expensive being one of the cooler super rares from that set kind of expensive um but i would really like to see this one i think it's one of the most iconic ones like from the old era because chaos war is like a very specific ultron that was in comics for like one event um which you could probably say about a lot of the old Ultrons, but by very yeah. specific, I mean, this is when Ultron like turned into the body of Janet Van Dyne or whatever. And it was just very strange. Yeah. But that was yeah. weird. That is like creepy. <laughs> so weird. I forget that. And then it, it like Ultron's got some metal major daddy issues. Not... Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And Yikes. by that, I mean, not Tony Stark, like Hank Pym is, Comic oh right because there was that, that whole yeah, yeah comic ultron yeah 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 yeah, yeah. uh thanks no i'd be happy Speaking. with any of like the ultrons from uh the age of ultron storyline as well but Ooh. the hammer of thor one's just really cool i think that's what everybody would think they would make like an ultron from like the age of ultron storyline but i don't think that's way that where they would go with it just because i, I don't think really they hope want, like, it's not one of the stupid ugly ones because the armor war and infinity challenge ones are so ugly. Like, man. Yeah. If you just yeah. told me that's like generic robot, I would probably believe you. But yeah, sure is. Uh, next up, I'm going to say this is the only zombie pick I can realistically being seen made. Cause like the other the old, old chases, there's just no way they make a legacy for those. That would just cost so much. Whiz kids. People would get mad. Even I own all the chases, I would get mad because I'm like, geez, I mean, you made legacy cards for something that 30, 40 people have. Yeah. Big deal. You know, like maybe that's like too much or too little. I don't know. But like still for like original zombie chases, that's rough. Um, But no, I think zombie Iron Man 
from Mutations and Monsters probably has the best shot at getting okay. made because I think we we did see a zombie Iron Man in that What If episode, and then you know not a chase, uh, common or uncommon or whatever. They've made figures that are on flight stands before, so I could see I see zombie Iron Man being a solid solid choice figure for a uh, for a legacy card. You know I don't think I don't know if they would choose any of the other like Z virus characters i think that's pretty yeah low odds yeah what set was that um let's see sit from if i see the symbol i'll recognize it uh oh yeah mutations and monsters okay yeah, yeah. that was the one where they they also made the was it yeah, uncommon made, um, giant man yes so that one was uh uncommon giant man rare spider-man and then they also made the super rare uh galactus herald wolverine no no just galacti wolverine okay yeah nice yeah yeah that's one of the few wolverines i do not have but um oh really man yeah you gotta get, that. You gotta get on that that's i know good. that's a cool one i i've always wanted it but i don't know i just hate the flight stand i hate the look of it i don't know why. yeah i mean um, i know uh yeah flight stands just they suck yeah they just suck. it's weird because a lot of miniature games just do that and they just kind of like accept it that like oh this person's yeah. like in the air so here's this like clear peg and then yep. whiz kids you know i don't know if they were like one of the first ones to do it or not but when they started doing actual like flight effects that makes their figures just so much cooler a thousand times cooler yeah. yeah um no i would say the only other zombie that i think might be possible would be zombie galactus i don't know how much oh, of, that okay. of a reach that is but i do know that he was like purchasable purchasable at one point um he's a two by two so there's a lot of stuff you could do with the dial uh he doesn't have any special powers except his i guess he has a special defense on his last four clicks but he's mostly just traits so it'd be easy to rework in that kind of capacity uh stats aren't the worst in the world i mean they are for his point value right now but like in the if he's like recosted and redone i could see it uh, also zombie Abraham Lincoln, although I doubt it, like, I don't see any reason why they would, that would be an awesome legacy card. I don't know if Marvel would let him pull from outside of Marvel though. I don't know how that I works. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Well, that's another thing where it's like, I, I don't know what they're allowed to do for legacy cards too, because like, you know, I, I had whatever, a version of star Lord that's like, you know, Chris Pratt movie star Lord. I would love, actually, I would prefer if all legacy cards were like Marvel movie characters. That would be awesome. But yeah. I don't know if they're, they've done, like, I know this is a Marvel movie set, of course, right? Or a Marvel TV show set. But um, they haven't made legacy cards for any, like, Avengers movie, Winter Soldier, Iron Man 3, you know, whatever, all of those. Like, they haven't made legacy cards for any of those yet. So I don't know. But I would love it. Like, if that's what all legacy cards were, I'd be like, okay, awesome. Heck yes. Fantastic. Let's go. You know? Yeah, if we went with the MCU Ultron, like the Ultron Prime, yeah, that's the technically MCU the first Ultron? chase I ever pulled. Oh, uh, nice! Because it was a, the Target like exclusive, and I just happened to be in Target, bought like three packs, got him like an Ultron Sentry and one of the Mark Ones or whatever. Um, but no, that was still one of like the cooler uh, bring in like figure kind of things. Was the uh, yeah. Was it the Mark One that you could bring in, place like more of them on like the map, um, and then that Ultron Prime was just a really cool sculpt and dial, but I don't know why I got rid of that because I'm a fool. That's why. Actually, I, th I think I traded somebody for the Avengers because Avengers Assemble dropped around the same time. I traded somebody this Ultron Prime and some other stuff for the Chase Hulk from Avengers Assemble. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh. Hmm. That Hulk, Regret that Hulk from decisions. Age of Ultron. <laughs> oh, so oh, good, man! If they remade that, I like. I guess he would not hold up. Uh, yeah, I'll say he won't hold up under modern three hundred and casual hey, no. stuff. Like he, that three hundred dial is still like brutal. Ah, easily, man. Oh, I remember just ah, that dial is ugh, so good, so good. Yeah. Oh. If you ever I... wanted just like a point and play figure, Hulk at the Avengers Age of Ultron Hulk at 300 points. Was it the. Yeah. Ash. 
Then ultra heavies were legal at the time. That's like a big thing to know is that ultra heavies were legal yeah. during that time. So it was like, ugh. That oh, and no. uh, that was he was also before you reduced how much you healed from uh, stop from clicks. Stops. Yep. yep. So you could potentially be on click eleven, cash in all your anger tokens, and go back to click one, and then your opponent yeah. had to like oh, slog yeah. back through the dial and try and. Because I remember like the first time. I got my opponent to like click 11 and I was like, like, yeah, he's not healing. He's like this and that. And he was just like waiting because he knew that he'd be able to like, what is it? Regen. When he uses regen, you may remove any number of anger tokens. If you do the D six roll can't be re rolled and you may increase the result by one for each token removed. So he had like seven and he <laughs> rolled like a four and I was just like, Oh, well, Oh, yep. Can we just call time now? No, it's probably easier to deal with now than back then for a lot of reasons, but man, yeah. what a nightmare that figure used to be for me. Um, You know what would be another good one? Chaos War Scarlet Witch. Make people have to relive oh, yeah. the craziness of trying to get a hold of her again. Because, like, I, I wasn't playing. Well, I mean, I was playing during the time, but I didn't know about all of this because I was just chilling you know didn't have a venue for a few hundred miles um but this chaos war scarlet witch people like bought all the chaos war starters just for her and like she was like impossible to find you could buy all the figures super cheap but man if they made this chaos war scarlet witch like they drop her points by like 20 points or something they make her like a 30 point then she's a perplex prob or your uh pen blast mystic or something and oh, i'd be hilarious i love it it'd be so speaking funny speaking that of like uh scarlet witch and chaos war uh how i didn't Ooh. think of this one the duo oh, yeah. vision and scarlet you're witch. right yeah you're right that yeah no totally. that makes way more sense than the bucky oh, yeah. cap or cap and bucky duo that yeah, i said yeah. before yeah uh, scarlet witch and Vish, no yeah. if you want to yeah if you want to like really take a bet on there being like a peanut based duo duo fig whatever uh that makes the most sense. Totally. No, absolutely. Yeah. That's, uh, I'm actually, man, yeah. I'm going to go buy one because <laughs> that's, no, that's a good call. If that's, if that's not one of the legacy cards, I'll be shocked at this point. Like that's, have they, uh, have they made peanut legacies? Yet? Um, Valkyrie, I guess. Yeah. Oh. Okay. ADW yeah. Valkyrie. ADW Valkyrie. Yeah. I guess that would be it. So yeah, okay, they've made peanuts. So yeah, there's bases for it. Okay. Yeah. Ah, no, nah, good call. Oh man. I, I would die if they made Avengers Prime Legacy. Oh, I don't think it would work yeah. for this set, but man. I already own one, so I'd be happy with it. If we're yeah, if we're just talking about like Ooh, generic is, stuff that I'd really love, um Sentry Kang Void, with, like everything from like, Chaos War could just be remade. Doom and Kang, okay. Just sell me about, like, I don't know about Demon Kang, but like twenty dollars or I don't know fifty dollars, and I get like a pack of a legacy card for everything in Chaos War. I'd be down oh yeah, for it. I'd pay Good fifty dollars to to reintroduce Chaos War to modern. Dude, Chaos War is a good set, man. Actually, all your legacy cards are just going to be unspoken. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Unspoken and uh, the Eggman. After oh, egg gosh. or whatever egghead <laughs> faces. Yeah, egghead, there you go. Egghead was actually uh, a key point to one of my fuzzy? first builds. One of my like first like built it on my own, was like really proud of it. It was a scientist build and just got completely destroyed. Turns out like stealth can just destroy uh, a team that's mostly based on like outwitting stuff. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Chaos War Loki's also a Here really solid sculpt and uh, dial. Um, All right. I always gravitate we have a, towards um, the Avengers Assemble, but yeah. Any, like, so last pick for legacy cards here. But caveat, though, a choose a modern figure for a legacy card. A modern figure for a legacy yeah, card. Yeah, like how they did with Wonder Woman and then with uh, the Sentinel. Modern bout to rotate legacy card. What do you think? Okay. Um gosh first my first um like random assumption or thought would have been uh sharon carter from captain america and the avengers but i okay. don't want that to be my answer because i a piece is just a little it's good piece but it's boring it's kind of boring for a legacy card pick uh oh, 
I, I would say Chase Ultron. Ooh, okay. But let's see. You know what? I'll uh no. I'm not gonna guess the one from the starter. Something that's about to rotate that would make sense for this set. Oh, I'll do uh title Kang from ABPI. Okay. Good pick. All right, I like that. Nice. Yeah, if they I mean they could drop the title portion, give him just like a couple of good traits. It's a solid yeah. dial. I mean, it was always like a solid yeah. dial and character. But yeah. Yeah, I think I was also looking at like the Captain America like set just for everything kind of in general here. So I could uh, I could see them either making a Falcon Cap legacy card from that set. Uh, but I think oh, yeah. I like top pick like what I would want them to make from that set. <sighs> Man, I think Mandarin. I think you rework the Mandarin to be like okay. Shang Chi Mandarin. Okay, like that. Yeah. Instead of the Rings of Power trait and everything, you give him just yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, you just leader of a dynasty and whatever. Right. The uh, yeah. the thousand year old um addicted to jewelry Mandarin. Yeah. I mean, I guess he just really likes bangles. Yeah. He's a big he's a big Bangles guy, bracelet fan. This guy, so Daniel Dosh has that's like a 2010 stand up where he's making fun of Johnny Depp, and he's like, uh, he's like, no, I'm almost ready to go out. Let me just add one more bracelet because I'm a 40 year old man who loves accessories or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah. Nothing resonates more with the Mandarin than being a really old man that loves accessories. He does love his accessories, though. Um, accessory fan no that's yeah i mean you keep the the chi manipulation trait um yeah. you keep the special power you drop the rings of power and you give right, him those are gonna rotate yeah yeah give him something else give him something it's still be trait. called rings of power or whatever right you know right. Just, they work totally differently you know try to make them work how they work in the movie i don't know what that would look like i'm not a game designer but you guys it was you guys could figure it out do you, you think know? This is the set where we see a legacy card for an equipment or like a relic, because I would, I would love to get old relics back, like I legacy would love card it too. wise. Um, I think it'd be awesome. I would prefer it to be in the vein of like the Fantastic Four organized play ones, so it's not like I open the legacy card oh, from sure. my brick and it's, uh, you know, like the Scorpion key or. Whatever. I was just about to say the, the zodiac <laughs> key or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I need the zodiac uh, key. The zodiac key. Uh, what do you? So this is a Marvel set. What if Loki, Falcon, Bucky? I'm trying to think. Like, what would be an old, an old equipment that would make sense? I mean, we do have an old set of uh, Iron Man rings, but like, that's that would not make Dude, sense. Yeah. That would be awful to collect. Uh, let's see. I don't want to say no. like Omega Drive. Um, I want to say something that would actually make sense in this set. Would make sense. Like seeing, like looking at all the figures, looking at all the characters in this set. Mm. We've got the old Eye of Agamotto. Okay. I can see that. That's like a fun. That'd be cool. Yeah. yeah legacy, uh, mint. Yeah, that one did, what did it do? Uh, character with it on their card can use probability control when it attacks. If a character with the Eye of Agamotto on its card has the mystical keyword, it can use perplex. So okay. there's essentially a half prob and perplex for 12 points. Not great. Not a great object back in the day, but... No, but still. Solid. Solid, Solid yeah. Uh pin particles are rotated out that was like one of the first relics that Ooh, didn't require yeah. a that was kind of cool um i mean web web shooters maybe okay web shooters possibility um i would love the straight jacket to come back i don't think it's going to not in this set but that would be funny Ooh, iron man briefcase armor not really a heavy iron man set though um i mean we could get Eh, no, Mighty Thor wouldn't make sense. I don't. I don't see a ton that would like fit Nova Helmet, Cosmic set. Cube. Maybe Cosmic uh, Cube. We're already getting a Cosmic Cube, but yeah. Globe of Ultimate Knowledge wouldn't. We do have the, yeah the old Captain America shield from the Captain America set. 
We yeah, that was like a weird shield. LE to try to get. Like, yeah, we, Wiz kids actually, we need one more shield. Fiend Tied to the toe. ribbon for this set, <laughs> the bow on top. Uh, I mean, Can we get the BFG from the Punisher van. Yeah, I don't know who's getting it. We get the uh, the sniper rifle, uh, the rocket launcher, the Gatling gun. Uh, any of these are fine. Just stop me whenever you want to choose WizKids. Riot shield to get that shield. Yeah, uh, in it. One more shield. What if what if it was? What if like two of the legacy cards were old shields? We get the uh, the Asgardian so shield. Hard. No, we get three. We get the Asgardian shield from uh, the Mighty Thor. We get the Cap shield from the Captain America set, and then we get the Riot shield from the yes. Ellie. Yes, every God. shield ever <laughs> made. Please and thank you. You know the cool thing about the Captain America shield is it's the same sculpt as the one the rare Captain America comes with in the Cap set. So since you already have the legacy card for it, you could use either shield, you yeah. know, for it. So like saying with kids, just saying, do it, do it, do it, do it. Riot shield is guardian shield, Captain America shield. Yes. And you know what? Let's go. Let's go all the way back and give me the, uh, the shield disruptor. <laughs> Cause why not? <laughs> Or the force, uh, yeah, yeah, shield disruptor, force shield, yeah, shield disruptor, yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely. Is that what is that? Mutation of monsters. Condition? It's it's a it's a special object. Mutations of monsters. It's a light object, and then damage dealt to characters four or fewer squares from this object can't be reduced. Nice. Ooh, that crazy object right there. Yeah. Yeah. You you give out shields, and then you give out the thing that can yeah. just disrupt all of the shields. All we're at it, give me the step ladder from Sinister. I don't know why this is an object. <laughs> uh, uh, let me guess. It lets you when move this up object elevated. Yep, it square. sure does. It's Trying literally train, just a ladder. A zero point it's ladder. Just, it's, a, it's a ladder. Yep, it's a ladder. What is a statue? Uh, object deals three damage when thrown. It's wow. part of an attack. Targeting, oh, targeting terrain or oh, a wall. Oh, so it can, it's a statue that you can throw at a wall or destroy walls, and destroy. Yeah. Okay. Okay generator this object is not destroyed when used in an attack after the generator Ooh. is used as part of an attack the attacker places it in any square adjacent to the target after the attack resolves oh i want this that would have been cool meteorite heavy objects did stuff but you could get a meteorite object and like it moves one square for free at the beginning of the turn and you might get hit by it <laughs> like it moves two squares <laughs> in any direction <laughs> or something and then like you ever get hit by the meteorite you get dealt like two damage or like we something some I don't know. weird objects back in the day obviously these were like oh, right. tokens and not like physical objects uh that's like silver mjolnir imagine right, getting yeah. silver mjolnir instead of regular mjolnir where silver mjolnir is just this is a standard heavy object <laughs> Oof, ouch ouch and then good suck. old under silver mjolnir good old gl alex says i never understood why people paid good money for the gold mjolnir when all you had to do was paint this one gold and print out the card for the gold mjolnir but still this is a fun heavy object to use in the game <laughs> uh yeah i don't know why people pay for food when you can just steal it uh <laughs> just <laughs> simply commit a crime yeah steal i mean obviously Break uh, the law it's that simple yeah it's it's not like as <laughs> it's not as damaging uh, as uh you know Wiz yeah. Kids isn't losing money by people repainting silver real nears but still it's you maybe it's i feel like we've almost talked more about what we want for legacies than this set let's yes. bring it back uh yeah. let's finish up let's talk about we uh the spider-man Spider -Man. <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. uh you want to cover spider-man um, I could talk about his bystanders after you. Uh, oh, do any so of the main stuff. Had we started with this, I would have noticed uh, Spider Man. So he has a trait uh, plus five points. Yep. Really, you think I could pull it off? Uh, Spider Man starts the game with the oh, yeah, 004 <laughs> Cloak of Levitation equipped. Uh, the Cloak of Levitation being the fourth object, Ooh. whereas in the 3D uh, renderings, it's the fifth one listed or shown. Um, so obviously, there is some sort of discrepancy between where they're placed yeah, that could have um, helped us <laughs> yeah i mean it's still anyone's guess as to where the other ones land but uh oh, yeah so that is his first trait for five points you get the cloak of levitation um this it's going to be interesting what the cloak does because obviously this spider-man he does not have any improved movement 
on his card. So no improved elevated or anything like that. So having the cloak for five points might just give him flight. Um, but then he does get leap climb. So he's got another trait. They're not all gone. At the beginning of your turn, Spider-Man may generate a bystander on this card, not already generated this game, uh, which is cool. I like bystander generators. He doesn't do it for free. He doesn't do it as a cost of action. It's just at the beginning of your turn, you still get to make the choice. So it's not at the beginning of the game, do this, or at the beginning of your turn, do this. You still get to make the choice, which is cool. So you don't have to pop him out like in your starting area. Um, you also can't carry him and then drop one, that kind of thing. But it's not as cool as like being able to make the same thing over and over again. Uh, he has yeah. a special defense power called Keep Smiling When They Can't. And that's Stop When Another Friendly Character is KO'd. After resolutions, heal a friendly character one click. Uh, I imagine that works for himself as well. But yeah, it's when it's when it just says when another friendly character is KO'd. So that does work with like bystanders. So you could have like paparazzi or whatever. Uh, and then he's got a special damage power that I, is, I was just showing him the orientation video that's perplex when Spider-Man uses it to target a friendly character that doesn't share a keyword until your next character, until your next turn, that character has the Spider-Man uh, team ability. So that of course being free, choose a team ability that a friendly character can use uh, that isn't uncopyable and this character can copy it essentially. Um, so if you are on, if you're not building a theme team or you have someone on your team that's not sharing any keywords with the Spider-Man, you can give them wild card, essentially, which is really cool. I don't think that happens very often. Uh, I don't know if that's breakable, but with like the Guardians team ability yeah. with um, like Masters of Evil, Doom, Fantastic Four, there's a lot of stuff to pull from now. I mean, even True. just PD, but like, yeah, there's defenders, like being able to give some random person defenders and then also copy it with like spider-man to boost like defenses if you, there's somebody with like a stupid high defense value um on the back of the card so his dial he has six range triple lightning bolts uh he's significant appearances marvel studios what if what if zombies 2021 uh he is five clicks long his first three clicks are all charge with 10 speed his attack is an 11 with precision strike which i'm pretty sure was benched so that's back right or yeah was, no yeah it is it? Uh, i think so okay. okay i believe it is um, yeah so precision strike and perplex are back in this spider-man yeah uh yeah so perplex and precision strike and leap climb uh yeah so he's uh first three clicks charge precision strike six range triple lightning bolts he's got super senses for those first three clicks uh 18's top dial for his first two and then 17 and then he's got that special perplex power for his first three clicks uh for his last two clicks he has both of those stop clicks which is the stop uh when a friendly character is ko'd you can heal another friendly character one click Ooh. which is really cool he can heal off of that he can get to like his last click and heal up he also gets uh leap climb it says i usually don't need a fancy cloak is the name of his leap climb and he gets incapacitate on his last two clicks with 10 attacks 10 speed uh very generic kind of dial it's a cool spider-man yeah. i like the triple target with charge um that's cool now i don't know if it combos with precision strike but still really cool i like the ability to heal himself potentially off of stop clicks uh i think it's just a lot of value for 50 points and i really think being able to give somebody wild card um yeah until your next turn at least is a really cool option oh, i love it i really like it so yeah, the bystanders he's going to spit out at the beginning of his turn. Uh, so are pretty darn helpful. They're kind of like little supporty bystanders. So um, the first one that I assume you're going to pop out is Happy Hogan. Now, Happy Hogan's got 8 speed, 10 attack, 16 defense, 2 damage. Uh, looks like he's got some range. Yeah, 6 range. With uh, lightning bolt yeah, lightning. 6 range. Yeah, one lightning bolt. Looks good. Uh, I think, oh yeah, because he gets the, um, I won't spoil it, but he does get something that does allow him to uh, shoot stuff. Uh, he has, I'm a personal chauffeur for a special speed power. Passenger three, but only to car carry Spider-Man and bystanders generated by Spider-Man. So specifically this Spider-Man. So again, personal chauffeur, pretty, pretty helpful. Then we have Kurt, 
uh, who's the uh, Russian dude from like the Ant Man people group of crew. So he's speed nine attack, fifteen defense, and he's just got outwit. That's all he's bringing to the table. And then we have Scott's head. Uh, so in this episode of Zombies, uh, Ant Man is is just a head. It's just I like how they Scott Lang's him... head in a jar. He still I, so I haven't seen the episode. He still has four speed. Yeah, I don't know how seven attack and one yeah. day. Like, so you're telling me I don't, there's a chance. No idea. <laughs> like, yeah, you're telling me there's a chance that he could attack. Uh, I mean, you're telling me he does the same amount of damage as Kurt, uh, a normal human person with a full <laughs> use of with an actual body and body. limbs. Yeah, yeah, who can throw a punch versus just Scott. Uh, and then Scott, yeah, is pretty accurate here. He's making dad jokes the entire time. He's got perplex and shape change, and of course, he's tiny size, so he can just be carried by anyone. Yeah. So. Yeah, shape change, fun, unbenched, perplexed, unbenched, precision yeah, strike. Yeah, true. Shape climb. change, perplexed. Uh, yeah, all yeah. We stuff. saw him loosen the reins a little uh, bit in yeah. uh, War of the Realms, letting a few characters get like super strength and invincible and random stuff like that. They, they, they've been doing that for you know one-off characters here and there. Hopefully, and this is my huge hope for the set. I think for it to do really well, uh, we will have to have full access to the PAC. Obviously, like, Leap Climb isn't, like, the world's greatest thing. Neither is uh, that other speed power that nobody cares about. Um, yes. Earthbound Neutralized. That's Earthbound what it's called. Neutralized. Uh, those are obviously powers that, like, no one terribly wants to see on their dial. But I think for this set to do as good as it can be, uh, we need to see a little bit of a power creep. I normally don't like power creep, but... I'd like to see this set outshine previous ones in like the aspect of like just really cool flavor, not necessarily like cheaper and better stats, like just like the easy way of power creep, but like more flavorful attack powers or, you know, traits, whatever, that kind of thing. And then unbenched powers, I think will really, it's what the game needs to like really not just sell this set, but also get people to like that are newer players to buy the set and not feel like they just threw away money. Yeah, no, definitely. Especially with the price increase. Like that is going to be like the hard sell of like not feeling like you're throwing away money. But yeah. Yeah. I, I do want the figures to be really good in this set, you know? And if it's, you know, that Spider-Man is like solid, like 50 points, two stop clicks, spits out pogs. Um, hopefully yeah. he, it's the, like, he's got, just three different types of utility. So I have no yeah. idea what like the cloak does. I'm assuming right. some sort no of idea, flight but... or improved movement. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's just improved or movement or something. Um, he's a okay attacker because of precision strike. Precision he's strike, a, charge. an okay attacker for 50. It's just an okay dial for 50. Double stop click. Um, you know, And then you have this option of perplexing somebody and also giving them wild card, which is just kind of strange. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever seen a character that could give another character wild card. Uh, so yeah. that's something that you would like build around rather than just adding him to an existing team. Uh, and then, yeah, the bystanders. So he's got, he's got like three different utilities combined, which so it makes him almost harder to build with because I'm like, which part do I focus on building with? Uh, yeah, but I mean, just having, just being able to spit out a bystander and have a double perplex for fifty is solid. Uh, having an outwit like the next turn, you know, however right. you want to do it. Yeah, he has all these yeah support if powers. This is, yeah, if this is like a, an example of what uh, we might see in like the uncommons and up, obviously like the commons are usually kind of bland, but like if this is like an example of what we might see in the set. For 50 points, I'm pretty excited. I have to say, like, looks pretty solid. Yeah, no, I'm already 100% all aboard the hype train. I think this is going to be a uh, 2K set minimum, uh, like one day of support your local store and then one like cool stuff ink case buy for sure. Like this is, yeah, this, this oh, I says... thought you said 2K. Like two thousand oh, dollars. Yeah, I'm dropping at least two K <laughs> on this set. No, uh, two case. Ease up there, set. Chad. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Some days I worried about Chad. I don't know. He I, liquidated a, like a lot. He of did. His, uh, he did sell stuff, a lot. So. so I feel a little bit better. But man, yeah. I mean, he was he was buying a lot of stuff there for a while. 
Look at these two Buckies really quickly. I'm just trying to like, okay, no, okay. None of them have long hair. I thought maybe one of them's like the what if Bucky for some reason. And I'm like, oh, maybe, but no, they're both. They both look to be Falcon Winter Soldier. This is just like end Bucky when he has a different jacket. At least he's got two different jackets. Nice. He's and cozy and fashionable at the same time. No, but yep, final, final thing. Just for what we know, this set, 100%. Super excited. I think this is going to be an awesome sealed set. That's what I really can't yeah. wait to play sealed. Like, you finally get a set that's just so full of wacky and new stuff. No one can, like, sure, there's reuse in this in the set itself. But besides that, 100% all new sculpts for this set, which is abs mm, just absolutely beautiful. Love it. Love seeing new characters. There's no complaining about the millionth Iron Man or the millionth whatever. This is like the first, besides the character reuse that's in the exact same set, this is the first time we're getting like all of these characters, you know? I mean, I guess not like Vision or Falcon or whatever because they've been in movie sets before. But even then, it's been five years, five, six years since we've gotten like just a generic Winter Soldier, Falcon, Vision, whatever. And these are specifically versions from these TV shows, from these, you know, series that we've never like gotten before. You know, it's not like the umpteenth version of like Wolverine and Cyclops or, you know, Batman and Superman or whatever. So, yeah, just pumps. All this new stuff is just beautiful. It's really good. And I hope to see more stuff like this in the future. Hopefully we can, you know, if this means potentially Avengers Endgame. Doubt it. <laughs> Doubt it, but maybe. Yeah. But I mean, at the very least, hopefully this means uh, Hawkeye, Moon Knight. Or oh, whatever yeah. else they're gonna make, you know, um, I'd be down for that. So yeah, all right. We talked the heck out of this set. It's it's awesome. We love it. We get it. Uh, yeah. Any any other final thoughts you got on this, Simeon? No. Uh, all right. I yeah cannot add any more until we see more. Um, like Calder, I'll probably be locked in for two cases, for two yeah. cases. <laughs> Cases. No, uh, if I, you know, if we start getting dials and it blows me out of the water a little bit more, you know, maybe more like two cases already seems pretty spendy for like the, the price jump. But, uh, if like the dials just do not impress me, if, if like the Spider-Man is a one-off and powers aren't unbenched, I'm still going to buy some of the set because the sculpts are just really cool. And I really want to get some of the stuff without having to pay secondary market prices. Um, but yeah, it'll eventually come down to what can they do? Absolutely. All right. Let's uh, wrap this show up with some listener questions. There are dozens of us. Dozens. Luke, Luke, Luke says in the discord with Disney plus opening up the doors to full sets based on TV properties. What Chuck Norris series would you like to see uh clicks? I mean, of course a Texas Ranger, uh, yeah. Walker, is that the Texas only Ranger, Chuck yeah. Norris series. Has he been in any other TV shows? Uh, probably. I mean, he's been in movies and stuff. It's tons of movies. I know, but Chuck Norris led series is yeah. Walker, Texas Ranger. Clearly we gotta have a Walker. I have a Walker. He said, bonus question, new team ability, Texas Ranger, what would it be? It would be just like is police. That new? What? Is that is Texas Ranger new? I thought um, Lone Ranger had that. No, uh, Lone Ranger just had, ooh, did, was their team ability called Texas Ranger? Oh, no, it was just PD. <laughs> uh, that's too okay. bad. <laughs> it's, it's, it's PD, but then you also modify your damage value plus one. Is it? No, I'm just, I'm lying. Oh, I'm saying that's, okay. what, that's what the new... Ability uh, Texas Ranger would do because or, uh, not, Walker's it's, it's like PD, it's PD for close because he yeah. never actually shoots anyone ever. No, the few times where he people. like shoots at people or has a gun is like season finales when like they yeah. I can't remember his partner's name, but like when they get into like big shootouts, um, right? I think it would be something like Prob and Flurry or something Ooh. that like something Stacked that really emphasizes the uh. <laughs> something that really emphasizes the amount of roundhouse kicks that were viewed because it was oh, always yeah. just like one but you'd see it 17 times it's like every angle i don't know what you would call that team ability but uh yeah that's essentially uh, what i imagine 
any any objects for the Texas Ranger show? Um, just bags and bags of drugs. I think every other episode was just drugs, right? So I just think there's got to be just box box full of cocaine has to be an object. <laughs> uh, cowboy hat. I'd like to see a cowboy hat object. Yeah, what it the would badge. Do, I don't know. The badge. There you go. It just gives you authority, which is a new power right. that Wiz Kids. Ooh, dude. Makes. A badge that that says like opposing characters cannot be placed within four or five squares. Like it's like yeah. I have you, you don't have jurisdiction here where it, like it stops colossal <laughs> retaliation or something. That would be cool. Yeah, and then I can equip my badge oh. to just anybody. Yeah, of course. I'm a real cowboy qualified. now. I have the badge <laughs> equipped. I'm a Texas Ranger. Uh, how many clicks of burly European men in track suits with Glocks tucked in their pants would you recommend someone collect for army building? And. I think at least 10. I mean, I at one point I had like 10 big Tonys. And that oh, yeah, seems like too few. Kind of the same. Oh, sure. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, if it's a generic, I always think you need at least enough to make a 300-point team out of it. Even though you know deep down you'll never do it, you need the option to. That's my philosophy. I need the ability to, even though I will never choose to. And uh, finally, our last question. Uh, Alex asks, Simeon, what were you smoking when you bought 70 <laughs> Sentinels from Rise and Fall? It was, it was actually over 70. Uh, but oh, I will say... Well, uh, how What's that? What was it? Like 70 what? Uh, so when I finally... Because I actually bought into the set quite a bit uh, and sentinels were actually way easier to pull than i imagined they were going to be i just wanted to make sure that i had some so around release time i was just buying up a bunch i'm pretty sure i actually did buy a bunch from chad and he cut me a decent oh. deal uh, i bought like those i pretty much bought every generic from him except the brood and then i ended up pulling like plenty of brood anyhow um so between chad well, cool plenty stuff, of brood like, to pull is like zero zero brood. yeah <laughs> so yeah uh, between Chad, my own pulls, and Cool Stuff, I think I bought from Cool Stuff twice because they have like the nice. maximum of eight for generics on release. So, oh, sure. um, I think I ended up with like seventy-eight at one time when I finally counted it up. Now I have, I have given quite a few of them away, and I haven't sold any, but yeah, I've traded and given quite a few of them away. So I'm probably down to about like forty something at this point, uh, just because it dawned on me quite quickly that I was never going to play that many. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do like a big army, and then I was like, well, if the points are allow for this many, I'll probably put on actual sentinels that are like actually big and cool and stuff. So. And Master Mold's never yeah. going to pull in this many. Like, even the old no. one that can no. pull in, like, you know, point values and stuff. Uh, yeah. So, what was I smoking? He didn't ask any of the story. He just wanted to know what I was smoking. Yeah, what were you uh, smoking? It would have been uh, pure generic something. I, I don't know. I was I was you high know, off the generic possibilities. We had, uh, we had a... Uh a discord member a patreon member uh do the math and cool stuff ink sentinels right now are at six dollars and as we know six times 70 equals 420 so hey, hey, hey. we know what simian was, was smoking nice <laughs> uh, right that is there's all our questions that is the show uh hopefully we got all our what if disney plus everything hype and we just keep the hype train going hopefully we see some scott porter this monday hopefully all that good stuff uh keeps rolling but in the meantime, if you want to see all sorts of funny skit videos, gameplay videos, podcasts, and more, check out our YouTube channel. It's Dial H for Hero Clicks on YouTube. Subscribe to us. We're definitely going to have some unboxings and stuff up for Disney+. Plus. And this will be the first set in a few sets that I will not do a destroy unboxing for. Yet, ah, I might. I might destroy all the Loki figures I pull. We'll see. Ah, that's probably what's going to happen. Anyways, uh, but yes, so... There's going to be that unboxing for sure for Disney+. Plus. So check out the Dial H for Hero Close YouTube channel. There's also going to be some really awesome videos coming very soon. Very excited for you guys to see them. Uh, also, check us out on Facebook, Twitter. Give us a like, a follow over there. Dial H for Hero Clicks on both of those. If you want to send us an email or send us some questions, you can do so at dial h 4 heroclicks at gmail.com, all spelt out. Um, if you want to join our Discord... 
play Bad Samaritan with us every, you know, week or so, every whatever. If you want to be entered into monthly giveaways and all that cool stuff, this month we gave away a uh, Magneto 2x2 two two from XDPS, then you can join our Patreon at patreon.com slash dialyatroherecooks or link in the <laughs> podcast description, all that good stuff. Or if you just search us on Patreon, $1 a month gets you Discord access, which will let you, you know, potentially, you know, play Bad Sam, our Hero Quicks guessing game, to... Uh, if you win that month's rounds of Bad Sam, then you get 10 more entries. And then $1 obviously gets you one entry. So uh, every dollar you donate is an entry to the giveaway. Adding more tiers, we've got some awesome action tokens. We have the full Wrecking Crew. We have all the War of the Realms action tokens, which I'm really stoked for everybody to come check out and see and start playing with. I know I'm pumped to start playing with all the Wrecking Crew action tokens or action like bystanders and everything. And of course, we'll have a, uh, you know, Scott's Head, Kurt, Happy Hogan, Red Wing, Bystanders. Those will probably be out within a few weeks, actually, before release, since we can see all of them and can make pictures and order them and stuff. So we'll have those probably by release of the set for those ones. If there are more Bystanders we have to make, then we will make them accordingly once we figure out what they are. Um, but, yeah, that is that is all I have to say. You know, biggest, biggest things of all those. Join the Patreon. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Those are, like, huge, huge helps, guys. We really appreciate it. Nice. And if you want to make some Heroclix bets of your own, you can pick up some of the figures that we were talking about that like, we think could potentially be great legacy cards. Uh, like that good old Ultron Prime from the Avengers Age of Ultron movie set. He's only $16 on CoolStuffInc.com. Uh, you know, there's, there's plenty of other potential legacy fodder out there. So check them all out. There's still War of Realms. Got all the latest hero clicks sealed and singles at CoolStuffInc.com. Thank you for joining us as we pondered the question, what if? So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional hero clicks. No. Are you serious? Again? How many people even play this game? Like the hundred instant deadpan humor. Oh, how would six uh, people think I am funny? It's the hard day's work. Not that you know anything about that. Which you absolute fools? It's not witcher nonsense. I'm gonna make hero clips like that forever. Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey Google, attack someone. Let's attack Simeon because he's a jerk. Epic trails.